Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back, I think, apparently, and Awakeness, as is from the comic from Tarawa. Very funny stuff there. Uh, let's see. Still not getting any, hmm, any update on the old dashboard on Twitch as to my viewers. They say my stream configuration quality is acceptable. Your inability to let me know how many people are watching is unacceptable. Whew, all right. Yeah, I'm not getting an update at all. I mean, I suppose if I go... If I go to uh, the channel, maybe? Whee! <laughs> Hippa! <laughs> yeah, okay, and the channel, it actually works. 3,500 is the number I'm getting. Hello, 3,500 of you, Farlanders. I just took a break. I just, uh, what's burning? <laughs> this whole day is a comedy of errors. Uh, just took a break. Uh, we just had Nia from Two Girls on Minecraft on. She appears to still be in the chat. Uh, um, I am hiding all of these things. There we go, now it's updated on the dashboard, all right. Thank you very much, Twitch. Forgetting what the times we are at in our Child's Play Charity Fundraiser. Obviously, our goal for Season 4 was $100,000. We raised $118,000 at Mindcrack Marathon in October. A very similar but 48 hours live stream with all the Mindcrack guys taking turns, live, taking turns and turns live streaming on the Mindcrack Network Twitch channel. That was very cool. And, uh, what was I about to say? Oh, and then, yeah, we've been raising money since then, so we're at $173,203.94. Hoping, hoping to get to 200000 by the end of this. We have eight hours. It's just past 10 a.m. Eight hours until the F3 moment. Uh, I start about a half hour late, but I'm still going to stick with saying uh, the F3 finale is at 6 p.m. Central Time, midnight GMT. Uh, and then we'll probably wrap things up for about a half hour after that. So in total, this will be a 12-hour live stream, not counting <laughs> these extended breaks I've been taking. Sorry. Uh, and I'm trying to avoid the necessity of taking a longer break in the middle and, like, catch a nap or something like that because I, I seem to have gotten over the early morning hump and we can continue on but yeah I just wanted to look over some of these donations very generous ones uh, very cool um, I got a suggestion here saying that for a future 24 hour or 12 hour live stream to do a racing game and do the 24 hour at Le Mans with Vintage Beef, Avidia Zen, and the other racers. I don't think you understand how we play racing games, but I appreciate the donation and that, uh, that suggestion. <laughs> uh, we would not last three laps most of the time, let alone 24 hours for a race. Uh, let me look down the donations even more here. Um... Let me just, we'll confirm that the, the Far Lands of Bust World backed up successfully, indeed. Sorry, sorry, I'm looking, I'm looking. I'm one, one person coordinating everything, so there are going to be moments of silence when I'm organizing things. Uh, what? Neo Throne donated very generously and asked, what in the world does an underwater lake look like? Oh, is that what I said? <laughs> <laughs> well, there are technically underwater wake lakes, wakes, lakes, uh, you know, 
in like uh, caves and things like that, but I, I meant underground lake is probably where I walked over where there were a bunch of zombies. Is that what happened earlier in the live stream? But I appreciate your very generous donation to ask me to clarify my, my misspoken words about an underground lake. Underground lake. All right, let me bring back the Far Lands or Bust World. Uh, like that. As an update, we are at... But we, we started the last from the last break at 10777. We are now at 10,873.66 megabytes according to, to Minecraft for the Far Lands Bust save file world. Gigs. Gigs. Gigabytes. Bytes, which are giggy. Giggy giggy. Michael. Oh, Michael. Maybe I can... Well, I don't... Again, <laughs> I'll check Skype. <laughs> but, uh... Yes, here are all my old worlds. I have yet to... clean out this installation of Minecraft. There's obviously the Far Lands world, testing world. I have a backup from the Canyon of Woe, a backup from the 292-202 monument, some single-player worlds that I don't know many of you have seen, the Bottomless Pit, where I did a special episode, and the Far Lands world, and Combat Canyon, my first single-player world other than Far Lands or Bust. Actually, originally to be the Far Lands or Bust world, except I messed up the first recording I ever did for YouTube and had to start anew. Therefore, we are in this world. Can't type. And I believe... We have... Hello. Hello. You are live on Flabathon 2014, sir. I'm no, in front of people? <laughs> in front of people. I don't know if I can handle being in yeah. front of people. According to Twitch, 3,518 people. But yes, this is Michael. Hello. Uh, reunited team three or two thirds sober. Yeah, <laughs> two thirds. Yes, and uh, well. Snowballs. Snowballs. <laughs> <laughs> that was our main offense, was snowballs. Uh. <laughs> How is it going? It's going pretty good. How are you doing? I am hanging in there. It, it was a rough start. I'm not sure how long you've been. Uh, I've been around. in and out. Okay, yeah, but Since, uh, yeah. got got off to a little bit of a late start. Well, it's an early start for me <laughs> as far as the time was concerned, <laughs> but uh, got a little bit uh, delayed in starting. Had some issues, but I think we're back up and running. There are creepers. I'm back in the Far Lands Bust world here. We're continuing on. Do the creepers have 3D glasses? I can only assume they do. They do. They do. <laughs> it's like the, uh, doesn't, is the Minecraft Reddit, our Minecraft still have that creeper with 3D glasses on as their logo. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, that's a, a special texture pack from Axis One. Um, but, uh, How's it going, Michael? How I was, I was, I'm not sure. I was trying to hesitate because I don't want to. I don't. The episodes are out for UHC season 14. I think people still want us to avoid spoilers. Okay, okay. A little bit. I mean, well, uh, they, <laughs> all this dodging that we're doing is kind of telling yeah. in and of itself. But uh, we had quite the season, didn't we? As yes, far we did. as our beginnings and witches. <laughs> witches. Which is our downfall? Yes, <laughs> quite literally. And well, I guess most maybe people. I'm sure other people have mentioned it. I think Good talked about it in his episodes that actually, in this season, we played on hard difficulty. Yes, whereas or, last season, I think it was, he accidentally had it on easy and didn't realize it until after it was all done or something like that. Well, I think, and even uh, just uh, normally, we started playing on normal difficulty so that people would survive 
the the mobs and and actually live long enough to to encourage the the PvP because that's what it's all about. Yeah. Uh, but I think on this one, uh, he just basically we duplicated the the server properties of the Mindcrack server, which is on hard difficulty. Uh, and, and so, so that's why it seemed like we, however, had a disproportionately <laughs> large amount of problems with mobs. We couldn't get string. We couldn't get string. I suppose in hindsight, well, we, but again, well, in hindsight, see. we were down to half a heart very early yeah. on. It really wasn't spider was that, catching. That was still the first episode too, wasn't it? Yeah, the first episode ended with us cowering. Yes, in a little and hole. we cowered the entire rest of the season. <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> I think we had we had our valiant efforts. Well, we did. I mean, we that, survived. We survived. Yeah, and then uh, in uh, episode nine, we had our attack on Paws and Arcus that was once again thwarted <laughs> by armies of mobs. That yeah, the like how of, many skeletons? Yeah. Like eight of them. I think you got shot once, but people I, did, I yeah. saw in comments were amazed at how I was ducking and weaving and, and managed to avoid any damage. Uh, during that transaction, Minecraft Vanilla is on hard, I believe. Yes, question. it's on hard, and it's also on UHC mode. The yeah, no, UHC, no health yeah. regen. Uh, but yeah, that uh, it, it's a good season, and I don't know. In hindsight, I feel like maybe well, I know Avidia lost his teammate. We might have with the, the the mumble plugin. If we had found him, maybe we could have reunited. There you go. Team sobriety. What? But I don't know so, if that's probably against the rules. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, and how did... I kind of enjoyed the mumble plugin. I thought it was really neat. Yeah, like, it was, it's good for the tension and the, the gameplay. It I, didn't make great video because right, there was a I'm, lot of episodes of us just sitting there silent. Yeah, I'm concerned about the, the, uh, the commentary quality due to it. And I think Pause kind of overcame that by verbally, you know, talking to people as they were getting closer and attacking or whatever. Yeah. But then that kind of... I don't know if that is a good or bad thing. Well, I think when you actually... When you're stalking someone, you can't. You just can't talk because right, of the way right. you're positioned. But when you're actively battling, I, I think a little bit of trash talk back and forth is okay. Yeah, yeah. And even it's... So, yeah, yeah I don't know if it's, it's not anything we're going to say. Okay, we're going to keep the mumble plug in from now on. We always like to switch something up from season to season oh, yeah. so uh, i know we like to try something new every time so yeah last what was new last season nothing really. uh, a lot of mojang joined last season oh yeah that's right and then before that it was the i think it was just the time i don't that, remember i don't remember what was season 12 what happened in season 12 was that... I don't know. The last one since fourteen well, I was in was in ten. Oh, okay. What was? was and I think I was teamed with Avidia in ten. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> or was that the one that the, all of us were together? I don't even remember. I don't remember either. Because one of them was the dragon one. Yes, and that's the one when we were all together, the three of us. No, no, no. The dragon one I was with uh, Dookie, with uh, oh. Doc and B Double O and Etho. I think that was nine then. Ten was the one where we were teams of three and right, right, and we were together. Yeah, I just don't remember what eleven or twelve was. <laughs> oh yeah, twelve was Eternal Day, wasn't it? That's right. We were on our own again, and then the other one was when we had. I was with Baj, and that was when everybody was having issues with the, the the tick on the the server was. Yeah, zombies being super fast. Super mode. fast. The sun was rising and setting in a matter of seconds, and it was it was pretty crazy. <laughs> That was unintentional, but uh, I think that was the first season where we started playing in 1.6. Uh, was kind of the the deal with that one. And then 1.7 was when witches became a normal spawn. And when did we start 1.7? Was that this season or was that last season? That might have been 13, but I wasn't part of that either. Yeah, neither was I. So yeah, that, yeah, I'm just I'm still not sold on witches spawning anywhere. Just even in not obviously it's a it's interesting and it makes for drama in UHC, but just in general in the day-to-day -day playing of the game, uh, it seems a little bit... I feel like there should be a storyline, you know? Yeah. Why witches should exist and they should exist in their witches' huts, you know? 
which I know previously they, you know, there would be witches' huts, but there would rarely be witches in them. Yeah, uh, well, and that that was one of the problems, and one of the other problems was there's rarely witches' huts either. So true, true. So I feel like maybe they should have, and they, you know, it's always a work in progress. Those guys, they're they're always updating and modifying things that they change. So I feel like maybe they should. A good middle ground would probably be a witch's hut at every village or something like that. Yeah, that was another thing I was thinking. Maybe inside the villages, randomly, there spawns a witch, so you can't just run willy-nilly stealing everything from villagers because you could open up a door to a library and there's a witch, you know? So yep. I feel like that, you know, restraining them to not, like, spawning in caves, it doesn't make sense why they spawn in caves is, I guess, what I'm getting at. Of course, <laughs> we're still talking creepers and skeletons and, and, and zombie pigmen, and so there's a, there's a fine line between reality in Minecraft, but indeed, how often? Indeed, do, yeah, indeed, <laughs> that's the filler. <laughs> how often do they do seasons? Uh, UHC is very random. It is very random. It's it's a combination of whether or not we have an idea, like we're talking about having a unique idea. Excuse me, water. Yeah. When everybody's available. Yep. Uh, if, um, if, if Good or Seth is available. Well, Good well, yeah, used some... to be if it was Good available, but now Seth has kind of taken over, at least with the <laughs> latest think, one. I think he'd want to change your mind about that. I know he didn't like the, <laughs> the He's guy. Like, well, now I know what Good's talking yeah. about when he complains about having to do these. Um, we're so like, yeah, when you get all of us Minecrackers together in a single call, we're like a bunch of children. It's yes, yes. <laughs> Some people see the pre and post show uh, chats and, and things like that. But I mean, and even it's just the technical stuff, like the problems that we had with the the Minecraft day and zombies being super fast. If we find yeah. out that there's some sort of bug in the current version, we don't, you know, we'll delay a UHC to make sure that that bug gets fixed. Uh, so yeah, if it, if there's really no specific schedule. I know we're we always try to be a little bit more consistent with it because we know it's a very popular series and oh yeah, and but they, we don't want to overdo it either. Cause true, true. Yeah, we don't want to overstay all the time. Things. And then people are like, ah, oh, I'm tired of UHC. <laughs> so it's a balance. Yeah, who could be tired of a series that runs for over three years and yeah. just a guy walking in one direction in Minecraft single player? <laughs> it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. Yes. I think uh, a lot of people tend to forget that when they're watching series. True, yeah, but I think they talked about that in one of the last uh, Mindcrack podcasts about how a lot of times you'll see YouTubers end a series early or, or get frustrated. It's just because YouTube is kind of... Oh, they were making the comparison to the Twitch Plays Pokemon about how it's kind of a an analog to doing YouTube Let's Plays because the comments are constantly like, no, do this, no, do this, no, you shouldn't yeah, do that. And exactly. As much as we would like to just not <laughs> let that affect us, that does affect, so... I don't know where I was going with that thought, but science! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Indeed. Oh, man. What it's just other... amazing how glitchy the game gets at this distance. Oh, yeah, the... I know people complain a little bit about the jitteriness and the... The block selection is way off. I, I find it interesting. That's kind of the reason, <laughs> you know, when that started happening, we noticed that in the first... Flobathon. Oh, yeah, I was there. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I think somebody pointed it out and were like, oh, yeah, it was like a fraction off of what it yeah, is I'm now. Yeah, little. It was noticeable at least then, so there's really... You kind of had to look for it then a little right, bit. Right, right, right. But now it's so pronounced. Uh, this is Michael. I should probably put a... Hold on, I can put a link. Whoop. You got a... Nope. Sometimes I'm not sure if people are serious when they ask who it is. Oh, that's, that's on the right. I, I forget. <laughs> I, Sometimes no. I'm like... Yeah, I don't know if you're actually don't know who I am or you're just joking. Yeah, or you're just perpetuating the meme. Yes. <laughs> I forgot about the meme. That, yes. that went I went two levels deep there. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gone on too long. That poor horse is it's so beaten. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure 
at what distance or what happens when the block selection is off by an entire block, that might be uh, when, you know, that might be at 12 million 500 whatever blocks Maybe. from spawn, and that's what then causes... That's what the far lands. Yeah. The, the, the terrain to, like, build upon itself and be like, Burr, you know, what's going on? That's the noise it actually makes. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, that, you know, that might be... So I'm not sure exactly. You know how you say you've got the garage door? Mm -hmm. I've got neighbors upstairs that like to run around. And I think some nights they like to play basketball. Ah. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> basketball. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it sounds like it. Yeah, I'm, I'm lucky not to have people above where I live. That's always a plus. But then again, okay. the negative of that is that you have a, a roof that leaks. <laughs> yeah. And, and that's it's a true. problem. I had that at my old place where the roof leaked um, one winter. It were, you know, and it, when it was thawing out mm -hmm. and all that ice and stuff starts melting. And I come home from work one day and my ceiling is on the floor. Oh, man. Yeah. I'm yeah. lucky to be working from home. So I caught it, but I could see if I, you know, I caught it early morning. So I could see if I was out. Yeah. And it just worked all whatever. day. Yeah. yeah. I was there to drill holes and had streams of water coming out. It was fun times. Oh, I bet. And still still uh, having to wait for some <laughs> resolution to that issue. And, of course, it snowed a little bit more, so I'm sure it's going to be an issue continuing. Oh, yeah, come when it starts warming up. Yep. <laughs> We're actually supposed to start warming up here. Uh, and I'm in Minnesota. I don't know if... Uh, I guess most of your uh, viewers probably didn't know that. But uh, I don't know that I knew that. So hey. oh, yeah, I live in I live in Minneapolis, um, and I don't mind saying that because Minneapolis is so large that even I could say that and people still wouldn't find me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, well, you got well, I'm you get a lot of snow, don't you? Oh yeah, well, and we've had some of the coldest days this winter right. you could get. Um, we would get with wind chill into the negative forties and fifties. Oh well, yeah, uh, we, I think furthest we've gone is negative 30s recently yeah go minnesota yeah so <laughs> you win <laughs> you win excuse me water <laughs> yeah it's it's like really warm in here i'm speaking of cold it's don't have good circulation and the vents are right they're around my ceiling which is an odd place for them to be, I suppose, but like blows down the back of my neck, so it's like heat. Oh. <laughs> yeah, when they built some of these, they, I think they forgot that hot air rises. True, yeah, that doesn't make too much sense. You want to put the vents in the floor. Of course, in the, in the summertime, when it's really hot, it's the opposite yeah. problem, too, because yeah, the, exactly. the computers in here are space heaters, generally. So it gets too hot, but uh, we just will complain. This is complainathon. YouTube you complainathon. <laughs> Get off my lawn! <laughs> you dang kids! Stop making all that noise! Yeah, wind chill is not fun. I I learned something about my car. It'll actually say because it's got one of those displays on it. That tells you, you know, all your, like, how much gas you got and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And it'll actually, if it's too cold, it'll actually say on it, too cold to display. Too cold to display. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it just gives up. Yep. It just says that on the screen. It just, in, in plain text, it just says, too cold to display. Please wait. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, and it waits until it warms up enough in the car before it finally turns on. Uh, it, well, it's probably it's probably like a an LCD or something. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, so it's it's liquid crystal, yep. so it would freeze. It needs to thaw a, out. Yeah, yeah, that's a problem. We had uh, the astronomy club uh, I belonged to had observatories, and you'd have uh, instead of going through an eyepiece like you normally would, yeah. there's a special camera that you can attach to the telescope and feed to a television, so that. You don't have to wait your turn. You can just look at the television, and you, people can look at what's going on through the telescope. But oh yeah, in trying to find a TV, we have to find a CRT, 
Like oh. tube televisions, because an, an LCD won't work in sub freezing temperatures. The it'll it'll freeze literally. Mm. So it was always it was a big deal when I was on the board trying to find a place that you know you can't buy a, a tube TV. It isn't that easy of a thing to find nowadays? Well, and nowadays, wouldn't an, uh, like an LED or an OLED display work in the colder weathers? I I don't know. It's still liquid. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. I just think, uh, I don't know, I, I, as far as the the durability, they're outside all the time. It's not like they're oh, in heated yeah. rooms or anything. They're actually outside with the, the telescopes when the roof opens up so you can see. So you're right there with the telescope. So Yeah. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't until like three years ago I first got a flat panel. TV. I had monitors, obviously, but I had a big 32-inch tube. Yeah. It weighs like 300 pounds. It's the worst trying to move with that thing. Good lord. I had one of those at my old place, and it's and then left. It stayed there. Yeah. I left it there. <laughs> it's not coming like, with me. Yeah, that's not coming with me. <laughs> they never. They don't put like places to hold those things either. Is the problem? No. They're all weird, sharp edges. Complainathon 2014. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah, carrying those things is yeah. It hurts. Complain. What else can we complain about? <laughs> Grumpy old men. <laughs> Let's see. We're at 173,318 and 94 cents. Nice. Child's Play Charity. Keep donating. Of course, no donation is required for uh, the contest for the F3 guest contest. Mm -hmm. Um, but it is, uh, it is appreciated. It is appreciated, and you can leave a comment with your donation, ask a question. I'll be scrolling through at times to try to get questions uh, and shout outs and thanks and whatnot to you guys. And I don't know, maybe we can think of some milestones. Maybe at 180,000, I'll jump on the Play Mind Crack lobby or in one of the maybe like the season three archive server and and we can hang out Ooh, on the I've always wanted to hang out with kurt oh yeah it's uh, <laughs> on the play mind crack server so what other so now are, do you have an active mind crack i'm sorry this is one of the things me and neo were talking about we don't have time to watch other people's series this is, oh yeah yeah i don't either and, so don't feel bad okay so i assume you have you're like pretty active i have i yeah, everybody just continue I'm telling me how much I'm... semi-active. Okay. <laughs> yeah, semi-active. All right now, um, I've been... Well, I hit 299 episodes right before I left for my honeymoon. <laughs> and I got back from my honeymoon a week and a half ago. And so since I got back, I've been working as I can between catching up from being, you know, gone for a week with work and stuff. And I've been working on putting that together, that 300th episode. Mm. So I've kind of been on hold with new episodes until I get that one done. So look forward to a special episode 300 yes. <laughs> yeah. from Michael. But yeah, it's I try to be a little, uh, or I try to be a active. True. But uh, it can be tough sometimes. I think I found an underwater spawner. All right. So I'm going to sleep here, and maybe we will have... Yeah, this, I'm surprised I haven't found one yet. Of course, I, <laughs> I've i been taking a lot of breaks, but I'm surprised I haven't found one yet in Flabathon this year. Of course, last year we found a golden record. Oh, out, yeah. Turned out to be cursed. Yes. <laughs> Quite cursed indeed. Let's come on, let me sleep. And sleeping. Snoring noises, etc., 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 etc. All right, we're going to try to explore that. Let me check. I think we're good over there. And oh, back to game. Yep. All right, Wolfie's going to remain seated. These are always tough. Mm -hmm. It has a layer of water over it, and I don't seem to have that much dirt. 
Hold on, I need building materials. <laughs> Something you don't need to carry a lot of. No. So had you heard about the potential intox Minecraft? I keep. I always. No matter what I say, Minecraft. I always want to say Minecraft. We do need a Minecraft movie, though. Yeah, we do. But yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> the Minecraft movie. Yeah, I've, I. Uh, I've heard of that. Um, that's kind of curious how that's going to turn out. And then apparently they're talking about uh, Lego is going to make a Lego Minecraft game. Oh, what? Yeah, Wait. I, I saw uh, that. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense at all. That makes less sense than the movie. <laughs> well, yeah, that's... It's going to make a like, Lego game about the game <laughs> that yes. already exists as a game. Well, but they've done that with other things, I, I guess. It's true. Like Star Wars, and I don't even know what else. Well, but, but those started out as movies, not and it's true. video games. <laughs> um, I have to find it, but I know I read something about it yesterday. I have to find the article now. Yeah, it's it's hard to uh, determine what's actual, like, you know, verifiable news versus just rumors on the internet. I'm sure someone will, uh, will point it out in the chat. <laughs> oh, dang it. <laughs> Need more building materials. Hold on. It appears to be a spider spawner. Maybe we'll find another golden apple. Probably not. Yeah, I mean, I know they have the Lego makes the small Minecraft Lego uh, sets that aren't, they're not even like technically full-size Lego. They're like just little diorama ramas. I guess it hasn't officially... Um... They, they've kind of hinted at it. They haven't officially announced it yet. Mm. So on their Facebook, what they did, because um, I'm looking at it right now, they had uh, a picture of their micro worlds all put together. Like all, they've got the three different micro worlds you can buy. Mm. And uh, they've got a bunch of them all together and everything in a screenshot. And then under there they say, we've got exciting news about Lego Minecraft micro worlds that we'll share soon. See, now I wonder if that's... And that, and then someone underneath the comments says Lego Minecraft game would play, and they reply with a smiley face. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know if that's... So, you, maybe, maybe not. That's, that might not it's be verifiable. One those, <laughs> it's one of those where it's a very... You can't really trust the source type of thing. Mm. There we go. Oh, this one's, this one's deep. Oh, look at from this distance. I suppose I can illustrate... Not only is the block selection off, but you can notice how the items, little blocks of dirt on the bottom uh, of the spawner, are are not following the ground underneath which uh, is shaking. <laughs> yeah. So that's another... That's a little trippy. <laughs> and that will only end up getting worse and worse and worse. And then when you're moving, you just move an entire like eighth of a block there, almost. Mm. All right. Like I said, probably a spider. Oh, wow, this one is way down. Yep, spider spawner. The chests are probably here, so let's check them out. Do some Indiana Jones stuff here. We've got wheat, iron. I'll take the iron. Iron is always helpful. Gunpowder. If there's another gunpowder, we could set off some fireworks. There you go. What do we got here? A uh, couple pieces of bread. I'll take a bread because I'm down half a heart. Thanks to Wolfie. Um, all right. Our first spawner of Flabathon 2014. And no record, which is no, yeah, probably well, a good thing. I would leave it, yes. <laughs> Those key things are doomed. Yes. But we have... I don't know. If I come across another 
gunpowder. That first creeper I killed had gunpowder, but maybe... Maybe we'll make a block of TNT or something for some sort of milestone. You need... I don't remember what... It's five, right? Yeah. Yeah, you need five... And uh, four sand. Four sand, yeah. We know Minecraft. Yes. Well, it's the same <laughs> thing. The TNT recipe and the bow recipe are two that I always like, oh, get Oh, yeah, you get the I'll sticks reverse. and the string, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, whoops. Not that way. <laughs> so here we go. Here's something that I can... I can I can deflect the talking onto you as opposed to me. Uh, I'm talking about I started March 2011 with the Let's Play, with eventually turned into Far Lands of Bust. When did you start? Let's I play Minecraft started. Or anything, I should I, I should have this date memorized because every time I get asked, I have to look. <laughs> and I th I think it was November of of 2011. I oh. think or. How long have I... I've, no, I've been doing it. I don't know. See, now I have to look because I'm <laughs> second-guessing myself. I would assume it would be earlier than that because November 2011 was the first Far Lands and Bust live stream. And you were probably already on the Minecraft server by then. Maybe. Let me look. <laughs> Hold on, I'm looking. I'm, All right. I'm going through. Doing, doing some research. I'm doing some research. <laughs> yeah, it definitely wasn't 2011. Yeah, I think it was November 2010. Ah, oh, even... Because I know it was... It was... Oh. Okay, first episode, December 5th, 2010. At ah, 3.04 okay. p.m. Got into the 2010... So that's when I started four yeah. years ago. Well, yeah. not quite four years. Three years and <laughs> a few months ago. That's not not too shabby. And yeah, it's it does seem like ev like well, maybe not everybody, but the people we know, the at least in our group, kind of started early About the same time. early 2011 ish. Because I know yeah. I think Beef started February 2011. Uh, I, think I know Gooch started a month or two before me. Right, and he even long before that was doing. Yeah, uh, World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft yes. stuff. So yeah, it was kind of the the prime time to get into it, which is why when people always ask, "Oh, I want to do YouTube and, and stuff like that," it's kind of well, no problem. Go ahead, and have fun. Yeah, uh, but you know, it, there is a little bit more competition now because there was that. That boom. Not, not, that, that boom, yeah, that bubble that kind of was uh, when everybody was starting. And then, of course, the, the network started gobbling up, uh, you know, a bunch of people. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, that's kind of, I think Yogscast even started early 2011 with their Minecraft series. At least they, again, did other stuff before that. But, uh, of course... Much more previous to that was X and Pulsors. Oh, yeah. Um, and then C Nanners came around Minecraft. And Co. Yeah, and Co, of course, yeah. Reminiscing. <laughs> yes. Back in the day. Yeah, he started October 2010. That's right. Good did. So it was a couple months before me. Mm hmm. Woof. It, it's always I, I I try to remember that you were actually like seeing the stream on like a <laughs> thirty second lag, so I, I assume yeah. random uh, and woof. Well, and then I look and then I look over like twenty seconds, thirty seconds later to <laughs> see what it was. So. <laughs> So what else has been going on we could talk about? Um, <laughs> I am not prepared for this live stream, apparently. <laughs> well, oh, thanks, pig. 
Oink. For today only on the Minecraft subreddit, you can get a special Flobathon flare. Oh, flare, everybody. Yes. Flare. You can get Flobathon 2014 flare with Wolfie's face and 3D glasses. Woof. Yep. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wolfie's playing with the pigs. Or he is where I'm at in the stream. <laughs> 30 seconds ago he was. Yes, yes. 30 seconds ago he was. <laughs> Why don't you play on Minecraft more often, Kurt? I get, I I don't have like I don't have that many series going on at the same time, so it's kind of difficult for me, as you can already tell in this live stream. I, I don't multitask very well, so having <laughs> even multiple Minecraft series at the same time is a bit of a stretch. Uh, I also. And it's uh, contrast to popular belief. It's not because of the UHC mode uh, or anything. I've been, uh, I haven't been on since, but Avidia gifted me a uh, a beacon, which is very nice. So I, I can set up regen. A regen. I don't, I don't know how, but <laughs> <laughs> I've never used a beacon before in my life. But uh, ah. so yeah, it's not really. It's not the UHC thing. Um, I mean, there's few annoyances with that, and also, like I said, the witches spawning at any place in the world and you know little stuff like that but I'm just trying to kind of like pause the saying as somebody who's not that much into building I mean I could get into building but it's really not my favorite thing to do videos during it's hard for me to, to build and commentate at the same time yeah so yeah, I mean, I could come up with a, a, a dozen little tiny reasons, but uh, in the end, it's not anything against the Mindcrack server or doing things on Mindcrack. It's just a lack of multitasking abilities and uh, just, just time. I generally, and I've been pretty happy with at least getting like one video up a day. Uh, whether or not it be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Far Lines of Bust, and then interchanging some racing games, or F1, or I got a Kerbal Space Program kick for a while, and uh, since planning Flabathon and everything, that has fallen to the wayside, so it's... Worry not, fellow Mindcrack fans. It will return once again. <laughs> and of course, uh, UHC, when UHC comes, that's a big... Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, you know schedule uh, filler right there. I really like, I mean, yeah, I really love UHC for the fact that we just sit down and record it all at once and then it lasts for a few weeks. And Yeah, yeah, and I suppose a lot of people, maybe that's how they do YouTube is, you know, I imagine like Beef does like his uh, uh, GTA series. He might sit down and record three or four episodes at a time and then he's set for the week. Yeah, I it's it's tough for me to have that endurance. He says as he's four hours it's, into a twelve-hour live stream. <laughs> for linear games like that, or for games kind of like that, it's a little easier. But uh, for things like Minecraft, I've tried it, and it is just so hard to, uh, especially when you're on a multiplayer thing. Where right, it's hard to keep up and relevant. Like that happened yeah. with my little potato on a stick joke. To be double O, I, I I built that thing, but I hadn't released my video yet, and it wasn't a prank. It was you know it wasn't any fault of B double O, but then he uploaded his thing, so I had to like quickly like scramble to, to figure something out to get the timelines right with our episodes. Um, whoa, no Wolfie, no cactus. Yeah, I loved <laughs> the little signs on all the cactus <laughs> or cacti. 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 I gotta plural it. <laughs> Cactus's eyes. <laughs> Let's see how am I doing for wool? Doing alright on wool. Oh, here's a nice we've been lacking in the epic landscapes, but we've got a cool feature coming up here. Make it safe for Wolfie. That looks pretty cool. Uh, 
Uh, oh yeah, that, uh, I know on the, the Child's Play widget, it says 1,200 contributions. That doesn't count, I know we rolled over the Mindcrack Marathon, but that, that rollover just counts as one contribution. Uh, also, mm. it doesn't count halfway into the season, the Chip-In widget, the website went down, and I had to switch over to the official Child's Play charity widget, so there were about, I think, 400, well, maybe not 400, maybe a couple hundred or so. We had reached about twelve, maybe $15,000 at that point when we had to switch from the Child's Play, or, I'm sorry, the Chip-In widget to the Child's Play widget, uh, so that rollover was just one contribution. So, maybe not entirely accurate, but it's nice, it's nice to see that number go up. Yeah, yes. just passed 1,200 contributions, technically, I suppose you could say, according to the, to the widget, but also $173,473.94 for Child's Play Charity. That is a good chunk of money. Indeed. Like I said, 18,000, about 18,000 of that came from the Mind Crack Marathon, which was crazy. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so, that was fun. As fun and as much money as we raised, I, I think all of us involved are like, yeah, let's maybe not do that again, <laughs> especially so soon. Perhaps, yes. uh, you know, keeping things at a at a smaller scale is a better way to go for our own sanities and yeah, whatnot. things got a little crazy here. <laughs> <laughs> a little wild. Very cool landscape here. Pumpkins. Uh, I have a question I see in the chat. Do you think the Farlands thingy is already affecting the terrain generation? Actually, that's what I thought at first, and when I first set off on the journey three years ago-ish, I, uh, I kind of thought that it was kind of a gradual thing. All the videos I saw were people teleporting themselves there and then suddenly getting a solid wall, and I thought that was a result of them teleporting there and then the effect suddenly taking shape. Uh, yeah. But actually, it's, it's, and I thought it would be a gradual thing, and I would be walking, and then suddenly things would get weirder and weirder, but no, it's actually, it is a sudden thing. We're told, of course, nobody has walked all the way there legitimately, so... Yes. Uh, we are to, led to believe that once you go to 12 million, 500, whatever, some odd blocks from spawn, it will just be a sudden... It's when the math suddenly changes over, uh, or whatever happens, happens, and you get the solid wall that are the Far Lands, so... Th this stuff that we're seeing is still... Natural. The best of our knowledge is natural what happened when you were playing Minecraft Beta 173. You got these weird, uh, very cool mountain ranges and random floating islands of awesomeness and, and stuff like that. So yeah, very, you know, there was the, what was the, what was the big seed that everybody liked? in this terrain generation. Oh, was that the 404 one? Well, there was the 404 seed, which had the big uh, tunnel, or, yeah. you know, the collapsing gravel, but there was one, ah, oh, what was it called? D no, not Downfall, it was called, uh, somebody's gonna remember, remember this put one. in chat, but it was like, it was just a word um, that everybody, because it spawned you in a place that had the whole, um, floating islands and glacier glacier that's the one careful wolfie oh that was oh god i just took some fall damage too <laughs> oh no i'm okay though but uh, where's wolfie <laughs> speaking of crazy terrain generation this is getting kind of wild and difficult to to for, to, bleh, to traverse and also talk over all right let's let's Keep get wolfie. wolfie back up oh i ate one of those <laughs> it's the the comic come to life Mmm, dog treats. <laughs> Don't eat wolfy treats. <laughs> I'll have to find some pigs. Oh, well, I'm back down to have a heart. Or, well, not down to have a heart, but... Down. Oh, there goes Wolfie again. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> yeah, we've got to get out of this this terrain, as, as fun as it is to look at. It's, it's dangerous. 
dangerous yeah. to traverse. But yeah, Glacier was the one I was thinking of. And I'm sure there were others, but... Uh... Ah, okay. I'm, I'm, I... <laughs> Come on, terrain generation. Give me some, some land to walk on. Did I just hear a pig? I thought I heard a pig over here. No, that's a chicken. I know my animals. Wolfie? There he is. Alright, we're gonna sleep here. Oh, I need to make a bed, actually. How are we at for time? We're almost at 11 o'clock. Oh my, already. For already. time. So yeah, that's that will be seven hours until the F3 moment. I suppose for those of you just joining us, the Twitch thing is not updating. It still says 3,518 for me. Uh, but uh, when I do press F3, it'll be the first time since, since the last Flabathon. Since right? last Flabathon, yeah, August 2012, that I pressed F3, and we'll find out how far I've walked since then. Oh, I'm facing the wrong way. We're going to continue west. Let me go to sleep. So, yeah, when I press F3, that's going to happen 6 p.m. Central Time, Central Standard Time, here in the United States. That is midnight GMT. <laughs> Woof! Yes, right, Wolfie. Let me eat this bread, get back up to full health. Um, I'll be pressing F3 at 5 p.m. An hour before then is the deadline to get your guess in with the guess the F3 distance contest. If you get close, if you are the closest guess at any what direction, over or under, you will get a $100 credit to shapeways.com. There Ooh. are links. Is this the first you're hearing of this? Would you like to enter a guess, Michael? <laughs> uh, yeah, Shapeways.com is the 3D printing marketplace. I heard, I heard of the contest, but I didn't look at see what the prize was. So oh, like, yes. Oh. That is the prize. Very generous of Shapeways to offer that to Farlanders. One entry per person. Uh, guess somewhere above 699492, obviously. That was the last <laughs> F3. And somewhere below... 12 million 500 whatever the wherever the far lands start because obviously I'm not at the far lands yet that narrows it way down uh, yeah <laughs> and and also I suppose there's another tip you know this is coming after we have I should check on how many we have well over a thousand entries so far but uh, try to choose like a very specific number don't choose like one million five hundred thousand zero 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 because a lot of other people might be guessing that and, yeah and you know if if you want to have a better chance, choose some random number that ends in like a non-zero, or, or well, it, you know, of course, or it, the strategy could be, you know, when I press F3, it might be a zero, you know, a multiple of ten or whatever. But it's the chance you'll have to take. That would be my strategy, though, choosing something like blah 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 blah, six hundred and seven, or you know, whatever. Yeah to try to, to make sure I have a unique entry. I have decided if there is like a a tie for the closest, I'll just have to enter them into a random number generator and choose and then the the second prize will win. I'll, I'll get them something a little bit extra like a t-shirt or you know, a few things from the Far Lines of Bus Spreadshirt shop. There you go. But that's, that's how I'll handle that. I know that's not in the terms and conditions, but I, I, did, <laughs> I didn't have a lawyer write that up, so you'll just have to deal with the amendments as I make them. Um, no purchase necessary. <laughs> Void were prohibited. Void were prohibited. Blah. No cash value. Yeah. <laughs> et cetera, et cetera. And yeah, make sure you enter a whole number. No, uh, Don't put commas or decimals. Uh, that just makes it a lot easier on me, and I think you'll get an error if you do anything other than that. But, woo, we just... Oh, well, no, we haven't. <laughs> it's hopeful thinking that we passed 11 a.m., but... If you have a complaint about the contest, uh, contact Mac at Far, far Worlds or Bust. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I don't... <laughs> oh, well, now... <laughs> some poor guy who has Far Worlds or Bust is <laughs> going to get a bunch of emails. That was kind of funny when you were getting into the papers and they were screwing up. Oh yeah, the name yeah of your the, series. I was Mac. It was Far Worlds. I was traveling to the Far Worlds. Yes. Uh, I was playing the MMO Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> and 
Minecraft MMO. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I suppose it could be. If you, there, I'm sure there might be some sort of yeah. MMO servers or a, some sort of long-lasting PvP or some sort of server like that. But in general, I don't think Minecraft is an MMO. I guess technically, according to the definition of MMO, I mean, yeah. But I think when most people speak of MMO, they think of, like, the RPG element of true massively multiplayer. And the massively part, where you've got thousands yeah, yeah, of people. Yeah. And not a, you know, handful. <laughs> Some more wild, wacky train generation we're running into here. I love the 3D glasses on everything. <laughs> yes, this is a, a, a... It's pretty much a vanilla texture pack, but... Uh, slightly modified by Axis One. A long time ago, he gave me this texture pack. I was I was gonna, you know, when things started getting a little bit boring with Far Lands or Bust, <laughs> some 300 episodes ago, uh, I was like, maybe I should turn this series... I think it was even before I decided on the charity aspect. Oh, there's like skeletons over there, gotta go! Uh, the charity aspect. I'm like, maybe I should turn this series into, like, testing texture packs. And for a few episodes in a row, I tested different texture packs, and I was kind of like, ah, I kind of like the vanilla textures better, but I do like the... There was one texture pack that had the different colored leaves. They were kind of like autumn leaves in, on the trees oh, yeah. that changed just gradually based on the biome. Well, I don't even think it's based on the biome. It's just randomly. Um, I also liked... The diamond swords being a little bit more, have a little bit more oomph to their blue color. It's not, it's not enchanted or anything. It's just the color of the texture pack. Uh, so, so that's what Axis One kind of made made the the Far Lands of Us texture pack, and, and made a, a slightly different version here for Flabathon, with the the 3D glasses on all the mobs, and the 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 don't approach Wolfie the on the cactus. Oh, speaking of pigs and, and Wolfie, let's actually... Yeah, I should some, probably kill a few, huh? Need some food! Needs to hunt! What's the line from Jurassic Park? She doesn't want to be fed, she wants to hunt! Yes. <laughs> sword needs 3D glasses. <laughs> the sword needs 3D glasses. I don't think it has eyes. No. Any more pigs, more pigs, more pigs, no more pigs. Uh, let's feed Wolfie. One of these. Bloop, like that. Continue on. So yeah, that's why I don't have people joining. They, they see I don't have a hunger bar or anything. It's because I'm playing an old version of the game. Beta 1.7.3. It's the last version to have the Far Lands. They were inadvertently removed when they changed the terrain generation scripts and algorithms in 1.8 beta. The effects still happen, the math about the the positional floating point whatnot with the the, the, the box, bounding box being off and, and stuff like that still exists, but uh, there's no terrain hiccup at, at 12 million blocks that would be considered the far land, so yeah. that's why I never updated. Also, the problem with 1.8 is when I, when you would update, or when I tested other worlds, you would end up... It was pretty close to constantly happening, but when you went outside the boundaries to the new chunks, you would just get an endless ocean. Mm. And, and nothing but, and that was very disappointing. And of course, that kind of led to... Which it's changed since, they've changed the terrain generation since, but in the previous... When did they last change? Was it 2.2? Or 1.6? For release? Uh, yeah, full release. They, it was when... No, 1.7 one, one they did some changes. Oh, it was 1.7, okay, yeah. yeah. Prior to that, between 1.8 beta and 1.7 full, if you use 292.202 as the seed, which happened to be the first F3 number in 2011, uh, you would spawn on a small island with no tree in the middle of a gigantic ocean, and that, that's what became Castaway, the Castaway series. 
momentarily, but I, I recently checked that seed and uh, it's no longer Doesn't no longer in the middle of the ocean because they, once again, like I said, they're constantly changing and reversing and updating and listening to feedback. They changed so that they're, the ocean biomes don't quite exist as ridiculously expansive as they used to be. Yes, which is a good change, I think. So just a heads up, I might be taken off here. That is, that's fine. I was about to say between now and probably a half hour from now. So. Oh, okay. Well, I was gonna probably at the top of the hour take another break. Ooh. I think I I have one bed left, so we can do another elevated hidey hole and then walk, uh, and then uh, do an underground hidey hole. Take another break, do a backup of the world, and and at that point I can. I can let you go, Michael. <laughs> yes, you, have you been, can let me go. I can go free. Uh, and then uh, we'll take a, a short break. Uh, at yeah, it's just about to be eleven. There will be seven hours left until I press F three. Take one of my 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 frequent breaks as they have been. <laughs> Give me a break. I've I, I only got four hours of sleep. I just couldn't fall asleep. And then I woke up. I had my alarm set for five a.m., but I woke up at four thirty and couldn't fall back asleep. Ooh, it was it was a mess, just just a mess. <laughs> so not not running on the the best sleep here. I could have made it a twenty four hour live stream with the sleep I've had, but no. <laughs> so so yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep here. Oop, only sleep at night. Thank you. Come on, one more darkness level. <laughs> yeah, I'll re I will return to my Pokeball. I don't understand that reference, but. <laughs> uh. Someone made a Pokemon reference. Ah, indeed. Ooh. A sip of water. That's something I always forget to do while I'm streaming. No. <laughs> it's the drink. Like, I'll, I'll have a big glass of milk or water or something to drink while I'm streaming and then I'll get done and the glass is still sitting there full <laughs> like oh I forgot to drink oh there's a skeleton with 3D glasses speaking of which I had a chai tea sitting here on my desk and it's now cold well, so much for that <laughs> yeah my coffee got cold maybe the coffee was a bad idea I'm starting to think <laughs> that early in the morning maybe I should have waited because I, I had to take some breaks, because coffee does what it does. Yes. And now I have a little bit of a headache. Oh, which is yeah. Problems for the future. You know, it might the combination of lack of sleep and, and the caffeine uh, hitting the wall with the caffeine. I don't know. I like myself a nice hot chai tea in the morning. So. I suppose less caffeine in that than yeah. coffee, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's. It's it's a latte, so it's like half milk. I sound so pompous. <laughs> in that. I prefer yeah, the I like myself a morning. chai latte. <laughs> Let me get my smoking jacket and monocle <laughs> and join you over in the fireside room. I did, however, just notice we're at 173 thousand five hundred dollars and twenty cents and twenty cents yes <laughs> for child's play charity and i suppose if i haven't said it already child's play charity I've been supporting them since june 2011 We've raised with the uh, mindcrack marathon and, and the other seasons of farlands bust over two hundred fifty thousand dollars for child's play charity and they help get toys books games to kids in hospitals around the world childsplaycharity.org is where you can learn more uh, there's also alternate means if you'd like to support them. You can actually go to their map and choose a, a partner hospital near you or, or of your own choosing. And they have Amazon wish lists, and you can personally purchase something from their wish lists for you know games, books, toys for their their hospitals, their children's wards, uh, and, and give that directly to them as opposed to your cash donation you give through Far Lines or Bust or another uh, fundraiser like this. Uh, goes to Child's Play Charity, and they distribute that for those hospitals to, to get those things on their wish lists. 
uh, or whatever. So those are alternate means if you're if you're interested. If perhaps you're not so keen on donating cash, uh, you can do that at childsplaycharity.org. I, I'm not I'm not biased either way. <laughs> Child's Play is definitely a good charity. They do a lot of good stuff. I, I wish I had more to add to that. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I have I have a like, spiel that I've uh, rehearsed over and over and over again like that, so it's it's become second nature. Now, what other series other than Mindcrack do you generally do oh, on your channel? Um, I don't really do anything else. Oh. Uh, every once in a while, I'll, I'll venture into other series. Hmm. I don't remember what it was last. I usually try to just stay faithful to Minecraft type stuff, though. Mm, yeah. Um, I mean, obviously there's UHC or whatever, but that's... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I really enjoyed Portal. That was a long time ago, though. Mm. Portal 2. I did a series on that. And, you know, I, I tend to have problems... When I do other games, as far as uh, YouTube copyright and claims and stuff goes. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, a lot of that will end up being false. Oh, yeah. Pokemon. I need to get back into that. I'm sure a lot of people are like, Michael, why aren't you doing your Pokemon anymore? Because <laughs> uh, I'm one of those kids. I don't know if you played Pokemon when you were a kid. Mm, all, no, that was... Okay. I, I know people still play it, and it's for all ages or whatever, but I, that was yeah. the whole generation was a little bit, uh, that was behind. So I was one of those kids, you know, I had a Game Boy, but I, I never got Pokemon. I never played it. Mm. So, um, like, just recently, last year, late last year, I decided, you know, I'm going to get the uh, Fire Red version of Pokemon, which is, like, one of the, the first color versions. Because I didn't want to play the black and white one for YouTube. So. Oh, oh okay. I'm like, I, I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but the, okay, first, now that makes the first Pokemon was on the first Game Boy where oh, it was okay, still yeah, that, yeah. that pea green and <laughs> black screen. Um, so the the one I'm playing is the same thing, but for the Game Boy Color. Um, so it was a recolorized version of the game. So and I'm playing it through the first time without looking anything up at all or anything like like I was a kid that just picked it up 20 years ago or whenever it came out <laughs> and I'm playing it for the first time so Yeah, that's always cool though. So, I'm yeah, that's for the that's first my... time a game that maybe a bunch of other people have already played. Oh yeah. Oh, or is it the Game Boy Advance? I don't know. I'm sure I'm being corrected. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> oh, they'll be let you know. <laughs> yeah, they'll let me know when I'm wrong. So, I need to continue that series. Though. I'm having fun with it. It's just uh, my wife makes fun of me when I'm recording. <laughs> so, she's like, what are you doing playing Pokemon? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> the people request it. The people like it. <laughs> she's like, okay. And then she makes fun of me for it the rest of the day. And so, <laughs> I'm like, fine, I'm not going to play anymore. I don't know which one of us is older. I'm th I'll turn 32 this year. As will I. Oh, there you go. So, we're the same age. <laughs> In April, April nineteenth. Well, then you are a few months older than me. Well, there you go. <laughs> I see. 
Doc M is in the chat. Any tips chat. already, guys, on the maker for later? Huh? Uh, <laughs> I might be talking to other people in the chat, but, uh, yeah. but yeah, Doc is in the chat. We'll have to check up to see if he might be Doc available. Doc claims he's four years older than us. He claims. Yes, he claims he's four years older. Substantiated claims. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see proof of identification there, sir. <laughs> uh, I'm also seeing hi, Brian. So Lorgon111 might be joining us. So yeah, like I said, I'm going to be taking a break, quick break here, since obviously it seems like a lot of people Maybe have, have get a new guest in. woken up. And yeah, well, uh, Michael has to get going. Yep, I have to go. I have to go pick up the... She has CPR training for... Uh, she's a teacher at a uh, uh, early learning center mm. here. And so she has to do the CPR and all that other kind of training stuff. So she had that this morning, so I get to go pick her up. Chauffeur service? Yes, chauffeur. <laughs> well, she doesn't like driving on this ice, and it's really bad today. Oh, so. yeah, we got some snow as well. So, yeah, we're going to do that. I'm going to take a break. When we take breaks, I back up the Minecraft, uh, the Far Lines of Bus world. I'll get an update on the uh, the donations, see if there's any questions or anything, and then uh, we'll uh, we might say hello to some new guests, because I'm going to need some assistance. The, uh, <laughs> yes. the, the early morning and lack of sleep and uh, the coffee is, is screwing me up here, and... Uh, <laughs> I'm sure someone would be happy to join you. Yes, we still have... Six hours, 50 minutes until the F3 finale. And, of course, that means you have five hours, 50 minutes. For the Wait, contest. did I do that math right? Yeah, for the contest. Yeah, I think I did that math right. To get your guests in for the contest. So let me find a place as the sun sets. Oh, this is a nice little open area. Let's have Wolfie sit down. Let's... Uh, Plunk down some torches and dig in. As we do. <laughs> your guest for the next hour is your garage door. Or your oh, neighbor's garage did door. Did somebody hear that? Yeah. <laughs> Feature. And uh, before we go, I suppose, since Michael here, the other half of two-thirds sober, I do have some snowballs, so... Snowballs! Snowballs! <laughs> Off into the distance. <laughs> uh, let's uh, block ourselves in. So well, good luck for the rest Thank of you your flabathon. Thank you for joining. Yeah, not a problem. And so I'll I'll watch here and there throughout the day <laughs> as I can. Yep. But uh, I've got my project I gotta keep working on, so I gotta not put it off anymore. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so look forward to that. The the episode three hundred of Michael's mind crack. Yes. And, uh, yeah. Thank you very much for joining. And yep. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Have a good day, and we'll maybe see you later. Maybe around the F3. Yeah, probably. Moment. I'm sure I'll be around there. And we'll uh, see you later. And thanks for thanks for being uh, <laughs> a, a caretaker. Almost is what <laughs> that season of UHC turned into. Yes. After getting hit by the the. I had uh, to the witch <laughs> down to I half to be heart. your bodyguard yeah like you won't mess with kurt you gotta go through <laughs> me indeed so yeah <laughs> let me go to sleep here let's see right. michael and i will return shortly as well after this brief break from flabathon 2014 bye 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 indeed Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, my voice has changed. <laughs> I've gone through puberty in the time I was away on that break. That's how long the break was. Uh, <clears throat> but no, I'm back. I should have I should have planned my meals out ahead of time uh, because <laughs> that that's going to cause problems a little bit later. Uh, I'll, I should be able to last without having to require dinner. But uh, at some point, I'm going to need lunch. I'd had breakfast very early. As you are well well aware, so right now, in order to perhaps calm this this headache and get a little bit of energy, I have eaten 
some gluten-free toast with butter, and a single carrot. <laughs> These are what my meals consist of. It's like being back in college. Uh, so yes, now that I'm fully fueled by some dry butter toast and a carrot, we can continue on and we have some, some more guests on the docket to help help ease the uh, the nervousness that I have. Oh, that music. I did uh, switch it up a little bit uh, from C418 to Gabester. That music you will probably be familiar with. The Beam and G Drive people put it on a lot of their uh, trailers for Beam and G Drive. And uh, he has a SoundCloud, which I linked to a couple times. And I don't have the link anymore. SoundCloud.com slash Gabester. Uh, you can listen to a lot of his awesome ambient kind of cool music like that. And uh, yeah, we're going to continue on. I'm here back in Minecraft Beta 173. Let me get back into the world, and then, as you saw in the chat, Doc M 77 is among us! And our world save, after backing up, well, backing up doesn't make a difference, but we started at 10,677 or something like that is when, when we started uh, about five hours ago or so. We're now at 10,957.82 megabytes, according to, to the Minecraft list here. That's a little bit off, but... Uh, so yeah, every time I back up the world, I'm backing up like 11 gigs. So give me, give me some time <laughs> in between breaks to do that. Uh, so let us play the selected world. We're also... Whoops, I accidentally... Hold on, I've got things covered up here. We're at, for Child's Play Charity... $173,903.16 to appreciate. Woof, yeah, I know, Wolfie. I do appreciate all the continued donations. Whoa, look at all the burning, burning species out there. Let's cover up. Hey, this hidey hole, the, the block selection is getting weird. Well, I mean, it's it has been weird, but uh, it's hard to, to place blocks. Place blocks! All right, let's get rid of some of this inventory. I'm about to get rid of this gunpowder if we don't find another source of gunpowder. I need some wood, and then like I said, we will give Doc a call, and then uh, future future people, I, I don't... Whoa, careful, Wolfie. I don't like uh, speaking. I'm like, oh, these people are available if, if I haven't confirmed with them. But obviously you saw Brian is, is among us as well. Dr. Lorgon111. Oh, I need another... that's what I need, another axe. Dang it! So behind on the times here. Let's do that. I suppose I should make another shovel while I'm at it, save myself some time. And... Whoa! See, speaking of the block selection, I fell off that block far sooner than I thought I should have. Uh, I, I break the workbench with my fist because in this version of the game, there's no difference to the speed of breaking it with your fist versus a, 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 a an axe or, or anything like that. So, it doesn't matter. I could, I could break it with my compass and it would just go as fast as my fist or an axe or anything. So, continuing on here, let me, let me make a few, let me make it to that tree line over there and then we'll see about adding Doc to a call here. I know Doc's been a busy guy. If you follow his channel, he's been doing a lot of vlogs where he's touring, being sent sent about the Europe on different press events and whatnot. So I'll bring him in and I'm sure a lot some of I, I know some of it's like super secret projects and stuff he's working on too. So so very cool stuff happening for Doc on the YouTubes. Uh right, Wolfie, let's actually so we don't have to worry about you. Get you full up on bones. There we go. And Wait, actually, don't don't be glitching into me. <laughs> and get uh, Doc on the line here. Available? Question mark. I type. <laughs> For those of you wondering, the little clickies. That was that was the water I was sipping on my water. Was that little farting noise? <laughs> uh, 
Ooh, this heat. If I if I close the heat vent, it will first of all make noise, and myself and Nia earlier were talking about background noise, but it will also get cold in here because all of the heat will be deflected elsewhere. So I am in a constant state of strife and struggle for my, my temperature regulation here in the Far Lands or Bust offices. Here we go. Oops. Hello. Hey, there he is. There's Doc, everybody. What's up? <laughs> oh, not much. I, I I severely underestimated what it takes to hold a 12-hour live stream, but how are you doing today? I'm fine. Just finished rendering the latest Minecraft episode, uploading it at the moment. Very cool. So, done with the work, or with the main work for today, I'd say. Our girlfriend just came in and said we need to go uh, to the grocery store. We only got a good hour left, so yeah, I need to... <laughs> well, I'll, I'll make sure not to, to keep you from your, <laughs> your your housely duties there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Since we, we got problems with our cleaning lady, since he just uh, she just disappeared. Mm. That's no good. Sounds like a CSI episode or something. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, when we hired her, she was talking about that she wanted to get a TV, you know, and kind of as soon as she had the money to get it for the TV, <laughs> she didn't show up again. So could be related. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. Uh, yeah. She got what she wanted from you guys. See you later. <laughs> yeah. Never saw her again. So now we got a new cleaning lady. Her, um, his name is Uwe. <laughs> Uwe. Uwe, he's a boy. He's a guy. <laughs> he's a boy. Yeah, <laughs> well, I hope boy. he's of, of, of working age. <laughs> oh, Uwe, Uwe, he's, uh, he's very reliable. Showed up twice, did everything perfectly. Awesome. <laughs> oh, let's, hope, let's hope he's saving for something more expensive than a TV. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hell, man, that was, that was just too funny, actually, in the end. <laughs> when she didn't show up for two weeks and we got concerned, you know, Really thought about some CSI stuff, but yeah. <laughs> it is always uh, some, it's always something with those shows where it's like, oh, the cleaning lady disappeared and leads to the next series of clues. But <laughs> uh, yeah, but yeah, how's it been going with YouTube? You're very busy. I was just mentioning you're making trips to Paris uh, and and uh, then to Berlin and posting the vlogs on your channel. Mm -hmm. Busy, busy yeah. times. Oh, well, it's it's kind of fun business, if you can say that, you know, it's, I mean, lately, um, yeah, channel is growing and growing and so on, you know that, and then after a while, publishers also contact you, and like half a year ago, a year ago, first got in touch with um, Ubisoft at the Gamescom, and yeah, they have these events, they send the YouTubers to um, really often lately, and yeah, could take, could go there once with Keralis. It was in Paris there for um, Mighty Quest for Epic Loot. Mm. It's pretty cool. Basically, the policy Ubisoft has there is, you know, um, you can come, you can check it out. They ask you to at least do a video about the event so people know that it happened. But they don't ask you to say anything good about the game or whatnot. You know, if you don't like it, well, you can say it even. Mm. You know what I mean? So no strings attached. They just... Um, think it's it makes sense to yeah work with the youtubers and get a good standing when it comes to that and i think that's okay then otherwise yeah, yeah. you always have to be careful you know you, you want to keep your independency and not be biased like if companies pay for your stuff and so on right yeah you never want to get into a situation where your opinions are not your own exactly and that would that would be bad for the so brand yeah, and your reputation and stuff but that's cool. yeah it was really nice, and then it was in Berlin too. That was with my network. Um, they have some plans, you know. My T-shirts will finally be made. Uh, working on a T-shirt shop will come the next, yeah, days probably even already, and so on. And then Ufa, that's a big German uh, movie company. You know, probably know them. They made a bunch of famous movies mm. like uh, Das Boot, just the the, the oh, U-boat okay. yeah. film and so on. It's by Ufa. And, uh, 100 year old company big movie giant and they invested in this network and they want to do some real life formats with me um gaming related of course but more vlog style real life formats and huh. it's going to be pretty sophisticated productions actually 
And yeah, that was the thing. That's that's why I was in Berlin and I met with the, those guys. And lately had another Skype conference with with them. You know how they call themselves a guy who is a, a producer, producer and editor. It's called Predator. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> never knew that. So predator. I met with the three bre- bre- predators. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they have for the UFA labs, and yeah, we we scoped out for some show formats, and it's gonna be like. Um, a science kind of show, hmm. um, but in a fun way, kind of bit making fun of German efficiency and German engineering. You know, because uh, yeah, people often say Germans do everything so efficient and so I don't know, yeah, typical German. Right, and right. we want to make fun about that a little bit and do some fun stuff. For example, you could imagine how Germans drink beer or whatever. Right, and then we find a guy who can drink a stein of beer in two seconds, <laughs> <laughs> and stuff like that. Well, that's funny. That's cool. Yeah, so that's the plan right now, but also other gaming-related things. Yeah, cool. Yeah, it's fun. If you get a chance to try things like that, why not? You know. Right. Yeah. If they're, it's. I have fun doing they, it. They recognize the importance of YouTube and stuff. That's really cool. Yeah, th- that's also a thing they want to get into, you know, the big movie companies, they want to get into YouTubing, but they don't have a real clue how. So they tried and failed for quite a long time now. And now they realize that YouTube is nothing you can yeah, produce. It, it is something that needs to grow naturally. And if you want to get into YouTube, you better work with the people who are doing YouTube for a while. Right, yeah, you can't have the same production that goes on the TV is not going to work on YouTube. Yeah. So, oh, cool. yeah, it's pretty. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. You know, just see how it goes. Uh, if you have a chance to try out things, that's my motto there. Just do it. <laughs> just do it. Yeah. A little swoosh with Doc on the top instead of <laughs> instead of Nike. <laughs> I'm learning already doing that product placement. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> Sponsors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, things are going crazy. I mean, you've been you've been in over the newspapers all over the place, man. Yeah, that. Uh, the, I mean, I, I knew about the uh, obviously the New Yorker, the the, mm. the guy who interviewed me, sent me questions, I sent him answers, but I had no idea it was really going to get picked up and spread around on the the gaming blogs and yeah, even That's some awesome. uh, people were sending me ones from Australia and. and <laughs> uh, what was it? There was another one. The what's the one in the UK? The oh, Guardian? No, what's the Guardian? No, no, not the Guardian. The Daily News or Mail or something yeah. like that. It, I, apparently, people. It's almost like tabloidy, but it was apparently on their website. But uh, so yeah, that was pretty crazy. Nice. <laughs> a little bit unexpected, but yeah, definitely saw a spike in new Farlanders. I guess I could say. Overall, yeah, but that's yeah. good, you know, um, I mean, often media, uh, the, the big media often picks up gaming in other, yeah, I don't know, for in other examples, for example, there's a shooting at a high school and then oh, uh, yeah. you hear the gaming news. So it's good uh, if the big media also see the, the other side of gaming, lots of charity going on. I mean, not only you, of course, many other, you know, gaming communities do that, mm-hmm. donate a lot. So it's good if there's awareness, in my opinion. Yeah. It's always great. <clears throat> oh, time for a little hidey hole. Yeah, I had the, mm. the elevated hidey hole there. <laughs> not walking through the night. I know people recommend, oh, why don't you walk through the night one day? I don't know. <laughs> it's really it's really dark in this well, version of the game because there's no brightness slider. All your far landing has for sure improved your damage avoiding abilities. As this is true. Many <laughs> UHCs. This is Iron <laughs> Curtain. <laughs> God, I, I should not have survived as long as I did in this this current uh, season. I guess no spoilers about yesterday's episode. People are like, oh, I haven't seen it yet. But uh, uh, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, that going down to half a heart in the first episode is not fun for the UHC season. <laughs> no. uh, that, that sucks. I think I was in that situation once. Well, yeah, my first season, and then I started fishing out yeah. of desperation. <laughs> that was classic. I think that first, that was season three, I guess, uh, technically, but yeah. Yeah. For everybody, Badge with his wheat farm that he was just oh sitting there gosh. watching. And <laughs> uh, good old times. <laughs> mm. 
the times before things got all complicated with enchanting and brewing stands and going to the nether and <laughs> yeah sitting there growing wheat <laughs> yeah but still you would see still my favorite event we do together i enjoyed mm -hmm. so much it's so much tension i go crazy mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, now what are your i suppose like, people probably already asked you probably already answered this in your episodes but like your thoughts on the mumble was our um, of... i like it a lot I would like I would like it even a little bit better if we would probably use Skype for our team communication, and uh, use Mumble only to detect other teams. But I could also live with the yeah, Mumble how it was. In yeah, fact, it... I enjoyed it. You know, it made it a bit dull sometimes in conversation because I don't know Jason yeah, quiet, steps yeah. 50 blocks away and you don't know if he really hears you now or not, mm. and then you do this weird talking to yourself thing <laughs> <laughs> so yeah but it made up made for great moments just think about you know when when sister and vex were sitting down in the hole and then iso right, and, right. Uh, yeah um passing by them the top <laughs> that was crazy good <laughs> yeah it seems like i mean the only and it really wasn't a problem but the only like kind of weird thing was us and I think it happened to other people being able to hear through the nether <laughs> to the overworld. It was kind of a funny, you know, interesting, quirky thing, but you kind of wonder... Uh, those that... are those fun things about Minecraft, you know? You yeah, can yeah. also set up a beacon at spawn and it affects uh, the nether as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> kind of interesting, yeah. It's definitely one of those twists that we like to do with yeah. each season. It's good, you know, to keep it fresh, but um, we all agree that, you know, there cannot be too much tweaking about the UHC, uh, about the basic principle. We don't want to throw too much changes in there. It should be clean, vanilla, hardcore PvP survival. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's about it. I think that's, that's what's the fun about it. <laughs> so fun to watch you walk. <laughs> Oh, tell that how many, I can't tell how many people are watching, but yeah, it's <laughs> four and a half thousand people. Man. Oh wow, we're it's we started at like maybe two thousand, two and a half thousand, and as as every hour passes, more and more, we're still waiting. It's still it's about it's about noon here, yeah. Uh, so it's about six hours from when I press F three. Mm -hmm. You can cover some ground. Yeah, dude. When was Pex East? What, was it was well this year it's in April. Yeah. Uh I assume last year it was in April too. I, I went to PAX Prime in S September last year. Was that September? I think uh, at the yeah. end of August, beginning of September is when PAX Prime was in Seattle. Hmm. I'm really I'm really where where's PAX East gonna be? It's in Boston. Boston, yeah. Hmm. I'm really contemplating to go there. Yeah, it's, I mean, go, having gone to PAX, I mean, I was also talking to Good and some of the guys about that. It's, mm. yeah, it's, and it sounds like they have, well, we, at PAX Prime, we didn't have a panel or anything, but it sounds mm. like they've got a a nice setup for, for the panel and a lot, of, a lot of people for this, what they have yeah. going on there. So, yeah, it's always, obviously, an actual <laughs> convention versus yeah, mine it's con not such situation. A bad trip. You know, it's just it's East Coast, so I don't have to fly for twelve hours or something. Mm. Just be like a seven-hour flight or so. Mm. That's all right. Because I wouldn't stay like forever. Maybe, f f yeah, the convention in, in two, three, four days. Right. Yeah. It's just it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday is the convention. So yeah, I'll probably I don't know. Arrive Wednesday and then leave Wednesday or so mm. a week. That would be actually nice. Hmm. I have to see. Still plenty of time to think about it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. A Girlfriend point. had some free days, you know, and we were thinking maybe I had so much to do. Dude, like, ah, there's so much to do. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, YouTubing, man. You sit in front of your freaking PC all day long or do 12-hour long live streams. Yeah. On Saturdays when your girlfriend has uh, nothing in her work <laughs> and you actually wanted to do some stuff in your apartment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I uh, well... Yeah, good. I don't schedule these things all the time. Good thing about that, at least. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I had some problems waking up this morning. 
Mm. Man, I like your uh, g um, crafting thing with the wolfie. <laughs> oh yes, the little custom Far Lines yeah. Bus texture pack. <laughs> uh. Then we have the uh, the cactus has warning signs for Wolfie. Yeah. He likes to get stuck on the the cactus. I know. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're in a cactus heavy area right now. <laughs> yeah, I have. A, there was that one one episode where he got stuck on and uh, kept taking damage from the cactus, and I freaked out a little bit. But since then, I guess maybe I've been really avoiding cactuses, so that's maybe why. But <laughs> hasn't haven't had that much problem since then. No. Any speculation that's on your side where Minecon might be this year? Uh, we kind of me and Nia talked about that a little bit. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell. It seems like they're definitely aiming towards more kid-friendly places. Mm -hmm. Where they like, they had it in Las Vegas that first year, and then they realized that a lot of kids show up, so maybe Las Vegas isn't the best place for kids. <laughs> yep. So then they had it in Paris, Disneyland, and then yep. they had it in Orlando near the whole Disney and parks and things like that. I'm trying to think, there really isn't... I don't, I don't know Europe that well, I don't know if there's anything other than Disneyland Paris that would kind of qualify... I don't know, man. Yeah. If they follow some sort of pattern, which is completely unpredictable with Mojang, though, <laughs> <laughs> um, they would go Europe again this year. Right, I mean, right. I would also, you know, totally agree on a hometown, Stockholm, um, you know, in Sweden, like Minecon. That would also be a great thing, in my opinion. True, yeah. But I don't know if you have a Disneyland there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Or even if there's any major convention sure. center where it could be held either, you know, you don't. For sure, Stockholm, I mean, yeah. Yeah. That would be nice. I don't know. I don't know how the. A there were some rumors about Asia, like maybe Tokyo or so, but yeah, I don't know uh, if that, that was legit. That seems like that would be tough. Mm. Be but, you know, of course, we were all kind of surprised when they chose Paris, <laughs> so yeah. you never know. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder. Maybe UK, UK could also be an option. London or so. Yeah, that was, I guess, a, an idea. I guess yeah. I, I would have probably had if they are going to keep to the Europe, US, yeah. Europe, US kind of format. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm kind of happy wherever it is. I would also be excited to go to Tokyo. I mean, that would be a trip. <laughs> True, that would be a major trip. <laughs> yeah. I think for all of us, no matter where we're at, we're pretty far from Tokyo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would be a long flight for everyone. Yeah. You know? That would be cool. I don't know how big uh, like it is in Asia, the Minecrafting and so on. Yeah, that's so. another thing. Yeah, I mean, I mean, looking at like YouTube yeah. statistics anyway, most of our viewers, it might be a language barrier thing too, but seen yeah. me from America, Canada, and then also, you know, Europe, the UK, Germany, yeah. uh, is, is where at least YouTube Minecraft stuff... I wonder if there's some super big Japanese YouTuber, you know, Minecraft YouTuber nobody knows about. <laughs> with like 10 million subscribers and it's like his own anime series in Japan or something. That would be awesome. <laughs> Never know. Can't count it out. And hey, if there isn't one, there's that means there's space open for somebody to be the, yeah, man. the top uh, Japanese... Uh, yeah, the, Jap the Japanese YouTuber. PewDiePie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That'd be nice. Hmm. I wonder, we need to watch the chat. Maybe somebody knows something. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Is anybody? I don't know. I'll have to check. Oop. I watch Japanese Minecraft, as somebody said. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm sure they, they, yeah. they're out there. <laughs> I'd watch a Minecraft anime. Mm. That would be cool. <laughs> well, yeah, there's, there's the, the live action movie, possibly yeah. in the works. Yeah, not tweeted about that, all right. <laughs> <laughs> and it was confirmed, by the way, that Justin Bieber will play Steve. There we go. Yep. Everybody, go out, look forward to that. <laughs> Tweet that out. <laughs> <laughs> Miley Cyrus is a creeper. Came in like a. <laughs> <laughs> wrecking ball <laughs> <laughs> or better like a 
the Witter or something. <laughs> oh yeah, the Witter. <laughs> Three heads. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I wonder how this movie's gonna be. And what it's gonna yeah, be it's about. It's so way so early, they're just in the talks. There's no mm. nobody attached or script or anything like that, so I would imagine like a adventurous journey, you know. Maybe a kid or something gets thrown into a parallel universe and lands there and first thing he does is chop down a tree with his fist. <laughs> then we start from there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> well that would be awesome. Hmm. And then, like, it's a quest, you know, to, to, I don't know, to fight a winter boss. The end uh, must be to kill the. Oh, there's the dragon too. Oh man, there's so many options. This is gonna be a great movie, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's already line up for the Oscars. <laughs> yeah, see a villager standing there, you know, when they go through the mines of uh, Mine Menoria. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to change the mm. name for the copyright mm. issues, but yeah. You sure not. Mm. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, it would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> maybe they put some references in there. That would be nice. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying in my last episode. Maybe, maybe some of us uh, YouTubers could get little cameos in the background. That would be fucking. Oh, sorry, no, <laughs> sorry. That <laughs> okay. Be, that would be freaking awesome, man. It would be. Veritably delightful is what he meant to say. No. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I wanted to say. <laughs> uh, that would be the final accomplishment. Then. then I would be happy for my rest of my life <laughs> because I had my share in Minecraft history. <laughs> yeah, your 15 minutes of fame on uh, Hollywood. Even if it's only like one second, you know, where, where I say like, all right, guys, and walk by or something. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, no, not really. I heard the, the Walk of Fame looks crappy anyways. So who wants to get a star on there, man? Not me. Yeah, just kind of like overrun by like uh, those people dressed up as Superman trying to get your pictures and money. Mm. Uh, somebody said, dog, gotta wash out your mouth with soap. Do parents <laughs> still say that to children? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Too much talking with the zip crowd crew. That got you swearing, dog. And JL, JL is a little potty mouse, for sure. <laughs> no, just kidding. Yeah, I got, actually got that question in the donations a little bit ago. I haven't been able to answer it yet, but it was about, like, do I... Since I personally, in my videos, don't swear too much, is that yeah. like a conscious effort? Not really. It just kind of... Farlands or Busts sort of ended up leaning towards with the Child's Play charity, like a lot of kids watching, so yeah. I do my best. You know, there will be a... if I fall a dam or, or something like that every now and again, but... Uh, like my other series, if you people watch my racing series and stuff like that, accidents will happen, and I'll, I'll swear, so it's just kind of, it's my normal day-to-day, -day, if you know knew me in person, my normal usage of any sort of swear words or anything, uh, it's, it's not anything I, like, try to clean up for YouTube or anything. No, uh, I don't, I don't swear much myself, either in, in private life. Yeah, yeah. Nevertheless, I don't talk English in private life mostly. So. <laughs> That's a good point, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but even in German, I'm not a sweary guy. Like, sometimes, you know, if I get super excited, I mean, it's different. Like, the, the, the famous F word in English, it is not as hard as the same word in German. You know, you would never use that, that word to emphasize something in German, the, the mm -hmm. F word. Yeah. It, it, it's... It doesn't. It's just not in the German language. Uh, how do you call it? Style or yeah, it's not a it common translate used thing. directly. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I'm probably not so in danger to say it. Like in Sweden, for example, Anders told me um, people use uh, swear words in normal conversations quite often, more, but you know, and they are not so harsh. 
but so that's why he swears a lot. He says or oh, a lot of Swedes swear a lot in their when they talk English in their Minecraft videos, for example, or in their YouTube videos. Mm. I mean, for we mentioned PewDiePie, he also swears like a sailor, <laughs> which sometimes surprises me a bit because he's obviously really successful, um, having a lot of young viewers. Yeah, yeah. And uh, nobody ever seems to um, be offended by it or like care much about it because it seems to be. S- I don't know, more sympathetic how he swears? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, or I don't, it's, it's, or maybe that's one of the reasons, you know, maybe mm-hmm. little kids are like, ha ha ha, you know, they find that yeah. a little bit more uh, funny or, or the way he. Yeah. I don't know, I, don't, I've, I honestly haven't really watched. No, he uses it, he uses it not in a bad way, you know, he's not a rage, raging mm-hmm. and then go, goes off in a, on, a, on a horrible tirade or something. More casually, mm-hmm. like so, like what the f- you know and stuff like that. Right, right. But I think that's kind of okay, but I still believe in if you use too many f- f- swear words all the time, it just affects people and makes a more rougher environment. Well, you know, it kind of it lessens the meaning. Yeah, it makes it less of a like people always in my comments whenever I mess up in a game or crash or whatever and I, you know, swear. They're like, oh, Kurt swore. Yeah. It, it's kind of a, it, it means I was in the mood and something drastic and very exciting happened that I had to swear or something like that, so. Yeah. I mean, there is a situation, for example, at the latest UHC, don't want to spoil, <laughs> but when I die, I mean, I had to swear there. Uh, every, <laughs> with the mumble plugin, people yeah. from around the map heard you. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty funny. Yeah, I was watching, um, I think it was a Generic Bee's perspective oh, at the time. Yeah. Bash lost it for a long time about that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad. I think as long as you're aware of that, uh, you know, you, sh- you should be, a- if you're amongst your friends, probably you swear more, uh, but we should be still able to have a civilized conversation if needed. You know, and not insist on swearing all the time and think it's cool all the time. Right, right, right. That's what I'm saying. It's, I think sometimes it gets a bit demoni, de- how do you call it, like too strong morals put on it. Mm-hmm. I think, oh, you can't say a, a, a single swear word. I think that's a bit too much. Mm. But, yeah. In certain situations, you should definitely not swear. I mean, you know, if you're employ- applying for a job <laughs> later in your life or something like that, probably it's bad if you talk like a... Yeah, straight from the hood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And speaking, I suppose I do have the uh, swears off on the chat. So if you if you use swears on the chat, you'll get blocked and banned automatically. So <laughs> speaking of the uh, conversation at hand, uh, let's see. <laughs> I just swear a lot uh, at bad teams in Battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> guy just said it. That's true. <laughs> Like when I played basketball back in the days, I always was swearing in um, Croatian and Serbian <laughs> uh, dialect. <laughs> a lot of my team were uh, made use that, you know, and there's kind of, you cannot swear like crazy on the playing field. I mean, there's some disciplinary stuff, you know. Yeah, unsportsmanlike. Right? Yeah, unsportsmanlike behavior. So <laughs> <laughs> just swear in foreign language, nobody understands. So the referee doesn't <laughs> know what you're saying. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> yeah. Good old times. <laughs> yeah, I just saw there, this is beta. I'm playing Minecraft beta 173 mm. because it's the last one to have the Far Lands. Yeah, but there was Pistons has... already, right? Yeah, I yeah, believe there was Pistons. They came in 1.73, yeah. I'd, I'd never have crafted one in this game, but mm-hmm. they exist. They can be crafted. Oh man, the first thing I made there was some kind of automatic. Something. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it was a pumpkin farm. Oh okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I would push the pumpkins off and. Yeah, man, it was a big thing back in the days. <laughs> it was like, the first time you could kind of automate that. <laughs> it was a complicated procedure back then. Mm-hmm. Now you just trap some villages in a glass cage and they toss bread at you. <laughs> <laughs> Times have changed. So much simpler, yeah. <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah, there were some pumpkins. It's crazy, right? Twitch has a one minute delay or something right now. Yeah, it's it's about yeah, thirty seconds or something. 
And, uh, well, I mean, it's hard to keep up with the chat regardless, but it is kind of... For, like, us on a, on, a, on a call, I think it's worse because you're hearing me talk and then seeing what actually happens 30 seconds later. Yeah. It's quite weird when people answer so late. That make ah, oh man, why did they do that? That really made Twitch less cool. Less cool, man. You're not down with the cool kids anymore, Twitch. No. <laughs> don't do anything. I still have uh, six hours to go. <laughs> Twitch, don't knock me off the server or the, the stream. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I think it's it. I don't know. There, there should be reasons for it. I don't know if there was ever an official statement why they introduced it. I guess it's technical reasons. Maybe. I, I don't know that spread the server load or, or something. I'm not sure. I haven't kept up with yeah. the thing. I don't stream all that much at all, so... Yeah. I just heard me. a bunch of streamers being not so delighted about it, saying it made their life a bit worse. You know. <clears throat> yeah, it was actually... I saw... I gave uh, Brian a bunch of questions from the Child's Play charity. Mm. Which we're about, we're five bucks away from 174,000. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I gave Brian a bunch of those questions and he reminded me that question about the swearing was from Xavier Penguin, I believe he said. So All right. thank you, Xavier Penguin, for the donation and the question. And I'm, I'm now I'm watching the number. I'm waiting for it to tick over. Oh, girlfriend just comes in. She's checking. Ah. She's doing an observatory log look. <laughs> Is Stretching. It, <laughs> is it grocery hi, time? Say hi to 5,000 people watching the stream. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> she tried her best. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they all say hello back, I'm sure, in 30 seconds they will. Yeah. <laughs> you can, you got to wait a minute. <laughs> <then you hear. laughs> she didn't say hi back. <laughs> there we go, 174,000. Yay. Nice. I can actually probably... So much money, man. Yeah, that's with the Mind Crack Marathon is rolled into that. Yep. Uh, let me let me see if the person who donated that last five bucks said anything. Okay, I got forty five minutes until our stores close. <laughs> well, just, I can I can squeeze in another fifteen minutes. Okay, then... <laughs> I don't I don't want to make you uh, miss out on your your bonus. No, <laughs> because I'm already you know I'm ready to go. Like in contra to contrast uh, to public belief, YouTubers don't sit in their underwear in front of their computers. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I don't have a webcam. That no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the good old legend. That is basically why Iso never, uh, you know, choose to make a fa do a face cam or whatever, because he always records naked. Oh, That's God. the secret. Oh <laughs> no, that's not a thought any of us need. <laughs> <laughs> uh, new uh, little new rumor out there. <laughs> and the the person who donated five bucks just said 174k. Congrats. Exclamation Yay. point, exclamation point. They didn't leave a name or anything, but thank you, person. <laughs> Very much for that donation. <laughs> donate what one guy says? Donate $350,000 now. Good idea. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I want to, like, if, if I would be, like, a super crazy rich guy, like, having billions of dollars, you know, 300 grand is nothing for you. You know, before you spend it for some weird crap or put it into some secret Swiss bank account nobody <laughs> knows about, <laughs> just donate it. I mean, yeah, I think there. I yeah. mean, like uh, Bill Gates. Yeah. The majority what of his is that money. With Bill Gates. Well, he, he he's donating a lot of his time to the <laughs> malaria thing in Africa. Yeah, but what about? Uh, Flamaton. Can somebody yeah. tweet Bill Gates? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I thought you meant in general. Where where have you been, Bill Gates? It's Flamaton, really. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know the billions you've donated already to other charities, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, not making fun of him. He's actually <laughs> a lot of people. A lot of people think he's a very bad guy. What? But he's uh, like he's donating a crap load of money. You can't blame him for that, at least. Mm. You know. Um, 
But yeah, because just saying that because uh, I read uh, read in the newspaper this morning the amount of billionaires in the world is uh, exponentially rising. Like most still live in the United States, but closely followed by China, Russia, um, and then spread around Europe and yeah, rest of the world. Mm -hmm. But still, most uh, rich, uh, still the yeah most billionaires live in the United States. I think it was. 400 or something billionaires yeah alone in the united states or something like that i don't even know what i would do without you like you said you'd say, okay you could buy a really nice car or something like that but you still have all this money left over yeah i mean yeah it all gets relative i mean if it's a billion you know really literally a hundred thousand dollars becomes peanuts mm. if you look at your bank account so to speak so i mean and a hundred thousand dollar is so much money for like 99.9% .9 of everyone on the world, right? So you could do so much good just by, and it just doesn't even hurt you. So I just don't understand. I mean, you know, I'm for sure not rich, but I also donate like regularly to some yeah, more like German charities because I think you should try to spread it locally. Yeah, yeah. First, that's just my idea about it. But you can, even you can also use it for taxes. So, you know, it's like, what you donate, you don't have to pay taxes on. And then I'd rather donate it before I throw it away and, you know, <laughs> for nothing. Because you're just, you're just throwing away money over there, Doc. <laughs> yeah, better. I mean, uh, come on. It's, uh, you know what governments do with yeah. the money. A lot of it gets wasted. Of course, some of it gets used for good stuff, but a lot of it gets wasted. I mean, for example, we just had elections here not too long ago. One of the first things our new newly elected like parliament guys do is give themselves better salary, <laughs> like for, increase for a of a well thousand done. bucks over the next four years or so. I mean, yeah, yay! <laughs> <laughs> Politics here on Farlands are bust. <laughs> so to sum it up, get here, Bill Gates. <laughs> <laughs> to sum it up. Open Bill the Gates. Bill and Linda, Linda Gates, uh, what is it called, Found, Foundation? Yeah, yeah. To, to I think that's their, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would be nice. Well, I mean, we, then, we had Notch a couple times. Yeah. And even to the Mindcrack thing, he donated... A lot, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can't, I don't remember the amount now. It's, I think it was 10,000, was 10 it not? grand, I yeah. think. Yeah. It's crazy. Like that. It's awesome. But hey. And of course, you... Got to, he, he mined out the perimeter with you. <laughs> and it killed him then. Yes. <laughs> Thank him right away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That was an epic moment. Yo, yeah, Doc, we're having the same situation. You haven't seen the situation in Brazil. Oh, yes, we di I did. Talking about Brazil. You know, everybody is talking about Brazil because of the upcoming World Cup. Mm. And it's insane, man. They showed where the German uh, football or national football team will stay, right? And it's basically a small village somewhere out in the bush. And, you know, around them, the poorest people ever. You know, favelas and stuff. And they're building a luxury hotel right there. And they're chopping down a bunch of jungle so they can make a practice soccer field. This is insane, man. And people around it, I don't know. I, I understand the idea, you know, of bringing a World Cup to a yeah, developing country, right? Mm. So you get some attention there and maybe some investments and stuff, but I don't know, man. I'd rather have the money invested in helping the people in education and all this stuff, right? Yeah, the same thing goes for like when the Olympics are hosted somewhere. Or... In Sochi, that was also pretty tricky. Mm. I mean, um, I saw um, a video of Vice. You know this channel. You know Vice, the channel. Right, right, yeah. They, I think they reported how much, like the average cost per head was per athlete, and I think for Sochi it was eight times higher than any other previous Olympics before mm. per per athlete. Athlete. So yeah. Yeah, summer Olympics are also coming to Brazil, right? We're talking about Olympics. Oh yeah, that's right. Rosie uh, is. Mm. So well, yeah, <laughs> hitting close to home for some people, I suppose, watching, but... Nice. And we'll see. I don't know. Um, We're doing what we can from here. Yeah. With, 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 to segue, <laughs> for Far Lands or Bust. Yep.
exactly. I mean, obviously, even in very developed countries, there is need for donation, right? Mm -hmm. As you can see with the Fallen or Bust charity, I mean, yeah. I checked lately. Child's Play is starting to really work worldwide now. Yeah, they've got oh. hospitals uh, elsewhere. And even during when I met them at PAX, they did a panel and they were talking about a hospital in uh, Egypt where they were supporting uh, through, you know, the similar donations and financially and stuff like that. And mm. so they're really branching out and even more to then just hospitals kind of a thing. They don't really publicize too much, but they help uh, family shelters they, they've been working with as well, in addition to just hospitals, because, you know, shelters cool. for, for kids and, and, you know, women's shelters and, and things like that. Nice. Um, you know, they need, they have long-term people who, who stay there, and the kids need to be kids and play games and socialize yeah. and stuff like that, so that's always helpful, so... Yeah, there's more to even than I always say, oh, toys, books, and games to hospitals. There's more to Child's Play Charity than that even, so it's very cool. Yeah. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's just overall good charity. That's the key thing. You know, so that you at least know your money goes into yeah, good hands. Yeah, and they were saying how their their overhead with the which is, you know, charity what they need to actually run that they don't actually put towards what they're giving the charity for is less than five percent which is really good for a charity yeah you know a lot of these huge charities you look at their administration fees and some of the salaries that people are making and it ends up taking 40 percent of your donation for that sort of stuff so yeah so that's that's a bit tricky then mm -hmm. <laughs> but sure you know that it's it's kind of a, a weird uh, thing you have to do like if you want to have a successful charity you need people working for it you need people right. doing the promo work you need a lot of yeah, organization and yeah, yeah. You can't depend so on you volunteers. You have to pay it somehow. Everything. Yeah. Best thing is if you have a foundation like the Bill Gates thing, you know, with a certain amount of money that is that is yeah can be used to cover the the running costs and stuff, just by careful investment. Mm -hmm. And everything in addition gets yeah fully reinvested. Uh, you can raise that is, that would be awesome. But if once you know you could do that, like if you like getting older and you know okay. Um, I need to do something useful, then set up some kind of a foundation that, you know, then you can have a legacy, then you leave something behind. It's pretty awesome. The Mind Crack Foundation. No. Mm -hmm. I, sh I shouldn't <laughs> start saying these things before. <laughs> Just imagine, yeah. you know, Goot being like, oh, I'll Bill Gates. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he would be nervous about that at all. No. <laughs> Uh, I imagine good uh, rather than uh, like a you have no or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With a drink in a Cuban cigar. <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like uh, MC Gamer has joined us in the chat. Hello. Hello. Speaking of also other people doing charity work and mm -hmm. fundraisers. Mm -hmm. Orange wool. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, maybe maybe uh, MC can join you a little bit now. So because I really need to start get going. Yep, I don't want you to starve. Because so. shops shops are closing in thirty minutes. <laughs> oh gosh! All right. Well, thank you very much for joining. Once again, that enjoyable. Yes. Good so luck, and I hope I'll be around later on. And how long do we have to go until the big F three moment? We have. Five and a half hours. It's happening uh, basically midnight GMT time. All right. Uh, and then that's the big F3 moment. So, yeah, I'd love nice. to have you back if you're around then, too. Awesome. And, yeah, thanks, Doc. It's DocM77 on YouTube. Au revoir, guys. See you <laughs> soon. Have fun. <laughs> thanks. Bye. All right, there goes Doc. Thank you once again, Doc. Like I said, let me put his oh, uh, youtube.com slash docm77. Or a member of Team Dookie, the four-person UHC team. And like I said, I think we saw MC Gamer, but I think we do need... He's been lingering in the chat. 
for quite a while now. I don't know what voice that is, but I just made it up. Soon to not be the only <laughs> PhD YouTuber, <laughs> if, if, if Nia has her way. <laughs> but we have... The man with two names, Lorgon111. Brian, how you doing? Hello! Hey! <laughs> oh, and I need to... I... <laughs> Uh-oh, he needs to do something. What's going on? I need to do the thing that I always need to do, which is actually mute the stream so that oh. I don't hear your voice coming twice at two different times. <laughs> Kurt is a time lord, for those of you who don't know, and now yeah. I'm talking to him 30 seconds into the future. <laughs> <laughs> So how is it going on this Saturday for you? Well, uh, it's going pretty well. Um, I actually, I woke up at like 9 a.m. my time, which I guess would be like 11 a.m. your time. Yes. Um, which is actually surprisingly late for me. So what time did you actually start? Uh, about a half hour late, about 6.30. Okay, that's, this morning. that's but yeah, really that was, good. I was impressed. <laughs> I'm impressed too. I I've been... Um, for those who don't know, I was on a trip, I guess like less than three weeks ago, I was on a trip to uh, Asia. I went to Singapore and Vietnam and Bali. And ever since I've been back from that trip, like my whole sleep schedule and things has never quite reset to the correct time zone kind of thing. And so I had been waking up at like, I don't know, 5 a.m., 6 a.m. for like the past couple of weeks. And so I figured, oh, you know, Kurt's going to be starting the stream pretty early in the morning. But that's no problem for me because <laughs> I've been getting up early in the morning. And then yesterday, we finally had a really nice day weather-wise because I live in the Seattle area. In February, it's typically rainy and dreary. But yesterday was actually a warm, clear, sunny day. And I went for a long walk on a trail along the river and got a lot of sunshine, which maybe helped reset my body clock. Well, I got the best night's sleep I've had in like three weeks last <laughs> night. And I slept until 9 a.m. and I woke up and I'm like, well, I've already missed half this blob <laughs> <laughs> That's quite all right. I, I kind of assumed being on, on the West Coast regardless that uh, 6 a.m. my time. Yeah, 4 a.m. my time. Yeah. That, that would have been a touch early even <laughs> on the other sleep schedule. Um, and yes, hello to everybody in the chat. I saw lots of nice highs and warm greetings and so glad to be here. Glad to help promote Child's Play Charity as part of Far Lands or Bust. I saw a bunch of charity donations streaming in uh, during Doc's visit. Um, I think we easily got, well, I haven't paid attention to the number uh, recently, but it, I don't know, two or $300 just in the last, I don't know, 15 minutes or something. Yeah, while just, Doc was on, I think we watched it flip over to 174. So yeah, now we're 174, 232, or well, 242 now. I'm watching as I read it live. Nice. <laughs> And yeah, I stuck in a donation there when I was trying to get the number to end in 111, but the donations uh, were coming in too quick and it didn't so work. <laughs> I was just about to say, that. I see 11 cents. Is that a, either somebody was paying homage or, or uh, you made that, a donation that was, there? That was me taking a little shot. <laughs> well done. I do appreciate it. <laughs> uh, but great. Um, yeah, I suppose since you, you missed the, I can like bring everybody up to speed. I, I can't, for some reason, my Twitch numbers aren't updating, so I don't know how many people are watching, but uh, uh, I can give a little bit of a recap to bring both you, Brian, and everybody else up to speed. It, it started off a little touch and go. <laughs> uh, I'm working on only about four hours of sleep. Cause oh I, my goodness. Yeah, I, I, I went to bed. I tried to get, I'm like, okay, I'll try to get like six hours of sleep, but I didn't fall asleep at least till like 1 a.m. And then I woke up, at, even though I had my alarm at 5, I woke up at 4.30 and couldn't fall back asleep. The nerves! Mm -hmm. uh, I got a nice uh, Flabathon Day paper cut from the cereal box this morning. Oh! I had to... Uh, cereal box? Yes. <laughs> Cardboard? Uh, I had uh, a little bit of a panic attack because my computer froze when it was starting up, so I had to, like, hard reboot it, and but now everything seems to be fine. So yeah, I got started, I said I was going to start at 6 a.m. I'm going to start at about 6.30. I had a very cool intro. Many of you have probably already seen. I, I replayed the intro to Season 4. Nice. Which was a cool, I love that. Yeah, a cool flashback to the previous Flawathon, going back to get Wolfie. And kind and the of, flyover. Yeah, the flyover. It was, I did, the, I did the, the dates between, and that was 521 days ago. 
was this premiere, not the last fall -a but the premiere of Season 4, which is what we're technically, I suppose, wrapping up today. Uh, and then... Uh, a little bit touch and go, had some long breaks at the beginning to try to get my body up to speed, but I feel like I've gotten over that hump. I was a little bit worried about my condition early on, but looking at the clock and seeing that there's only five and a half hours remaining until I press F3 makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> Gives me a little bit more energy to keep going, so... Indeed. Indeed. And yes, there is hopefully lots of us here who are available to help support you in your journey. <laughs> In the long call, in the long stream. Yes. And yeah, actually, yeah, streaming is actually possibly also part of the reason that I slept so late uh, today is I stayed up a little later than I was planning to last night because I ended up doing some streaming of my own. Oh. When I saw that Flabathon was coming, I actually, I was like, you know, I feel like you and I are kind of like similar in that we tend not to stream all that often. And it's either <laughs> special occasions or just every so often when we're feeling like it or whatever. And I was like, you know, if Kurt's going to stream... I should uh, I should dust off the old streaming software as well. <laughs> it's it's a different thing entirely to making YouTube. I know a lot of obviously YouTubers jump back and forth between streaming and vice versa, but mm. uh, it's hard to I don't know. It's hard to to put a uh, uh, a reason or, or a pin on why it it just to me seems while you're doing it it's and running up to it it's a lot more stressful but of course the relief is that once you're done with the stream you're done you don't have to like render video or edit or right. upload to youtube it's like you're done that's that's the payoff right there but it's definitely a lot more of an immediate pressure <laughs> or something yes, i don't know i was feeling that yesterday and i think also a lot of that is i'm someone who does a fair bit of editing and leaves a lot on the cutting room floor. And when you're streaming, you don't have that option. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, MC is in the chat and he's like, streaming? Never heard of it. Ha ha ha. <laughs> he, runs, he runs a tight stream. There is a professional who knows what he is up to doing. I like MC Gamer a lot. Yes. Um, and yeah, and so there is definitely kind of like a bit more kind of like on stage pressure, nervousness, something there. But yeah, like you said, it's much more immediately satisfying. And then you don't have kind of like the work after the fact as compared to recording YouTube videos. So true, it, it's, a, it's a different beast entirely. And then there's guys like uh, who we met at PAX Sevedus for that. His, mm -hmm. his, that's his thing. He like streams right. eight hours a day, five days a week, or six days a week even. And, whew. <laughs> Good on him for having the fortitude to be able to do that. But. but yeah, that's tough. And that's also, I find that it's just tough on, I, I mean, I guess maybe if you practice, you get better at such things. But like tough on my voice yeah. to be talking for that long. Like I can usually only record like, I don't know. If I record three hours in a day, like that's a pretty good day for recording, maybe maybe four hours, I don't know. So I can't imagine eight hours kind of straight talking. Yeah, I would uh I would have problems. <laughs> <laughs> um let's see. I was taking a look at the chat. You did send me a number of uh, questions that previous people had asked. And so I guess throughout our conversation, I will kind of try to intersperse a few of those questions that various donators and askers yeah, uh, have done. I pretty much just copied and pasted like the raw information I get from Child's Play charity because yeah. uh, it's kind of hard to pick and choose. And I'm like, here you go. <laughs> Find some questions in there, Brian. So thank you for <laughs> for just dealing with the text file full of... <laughs> Yep, I had some time while you were talking to Doc, and so I actually went and cleaned it up and oh. uh, grabbed some of the ones that I like the most. Cool. Um, and yeah, since we're talking about it right now, I guess I'll go ahead and ask one, and then we can kind of like switch topics and go back and forth. Awesome. Um, but someone named Noodlemeister has asked, do you think you might do any more single-player Minecraft Let's Plays? I really enjoyed your previous series, is, 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 <laughs> like Combat Canyon and Stranded in Minecraft and Castaway. And also, I just want to interject on my own. So that was the end of the question. But all of those series like had some crazy moments. I mean, the whole thing with with Castaway in terms of like starting on the random island seed. And then there was a time where you came out of the nether portal and ended up in the stronghold. And yes, <laughs> you've, you've had some crazy luck in terms of single player let's plays. But let's throw that out there. Do you see that happening again in the future, perhaps? 
it's it, that was a weird noise. Uh, it's kind <laughs> of uh, it's tough because I mean, especially in this. I mean, you look at anybody, really, there's not that many people aside from, like, you You have your uh, exploration and tactics, uh, obviously far lands are bust, there's not that many people, like, starting up new single-player worlds, mm -hmm. just because multiplayer has become so prevalent, and there's all these mini-game servers, and of course there's the longer-form adventure maps and things. Um... I, f I feel like I would definitely want to concentrate more on Mindcrack before launching a new mm -hmm. single-player series. You know, I feel right. like that... And you definitely, yeah, I feel like more than some of the other folks there um, play a lot of other games and, yeah, have a number of other series going or whatever. Like, there's some people who are more focused on Minecraft and some people who are really diverse. Right, right, and I like to keep it... Diverse, obviously, I know the majority of, uh, I suppose, where I came from, I guess, <laughs> is is through Minecraft and stuff. So I definitely, it's not something I ever want to remove from my channel. But yeah, it's kind of, it feels, uh, I know I really, with those series, I don't know that I ever really resolved, you know, I, I didn't give them endings or anything like that. But I think that mm -hmm. is kind of the nature of the Let's Play, since it's not really a set narrative or anything like that, usually, anyway. Right, yeah, especially for an open-ended game like Minecraft, where you're just kind of setting your own goals and different things. It's not like, you know, you you win the game, you beat the game, it's all over. There's the end credits. Well, I guess there is, you beat the end credits, <laughs> some crazy end credits, but we're ignoring that. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, in, in terms of Castaway, I know everybody references that. I kind of, I had a point where I left that one island that I found in the villagers, and I found another island, and it kind of lost its... I don't know. It kind of I was like, oh, this is kind of now a normal let's play. It's not. There's not necessarily a castaway aspect to it anymore. Right. Uh, right. And it kind of. I almost kind of wish I, I hadn't done that. I wish I kind of ended it on that main island that I found with the villagers and that little. I made a little condo and, and motel for them and got got them to really start breeding and spawning. That was kind of around that time is when that mechanic was added. Uh, but yeah, yeah. That yeah, I saw that question too. That was in like a list of ones I was trying to answer in in Far Lands or Bust episodes. And so yeah, I don't mean to disappoint anybody, but uh, I think in the long run, if instead I'm able to try to concentrate more on mind crack, maybe I'm sure plenty more people would be happy with that. Indeed, and yeah, <laughs> I would enjoy seeing more of that as well. And yeah, it's always tough when you're producing content or whatever like there's always people who want you know everything and you got to pick and choose both the things that are going to be most enjoyable to you and also things that you think yeah that viewers are really going to enjoy and um good ideas don't always come along easily <laughs> um all right that is great that kind of leads me into um yeah obviously like i have my single player minecraft exploration and tactics but i also have been trying to branch out a bit more lately even in minecraft and with since you just had Doc M uh, on the channel, obviously he's you know Redstone you know genius and builds all kinds of crazy things. Well, I've done a little bit with Redstone. I've been having more fun lately with all the updates they've been putting in the latest snapshots to command blocks. Mm. I don't know if you've seen things that people do with them. I I know that you're not really into that much yourself, but yeah, not really. Um, I've just seen like the few videos Seth Bling puts up about spawning but not not really anything new that i've seen with the snapshots i don't think mm -hmm. um yeah there's some cool stuff there i'm trying to give seth a run for his money lately um <laughs> i've been trying to figure out like how much stuff i can stuff into a single command and a single command block and yeah have made managed to make a couple of videos with some mini games there's like a little archery mini game where you shoot bats that have diamonds r riding on their back and <laughs> um like snake, like the little game where you go up, down, left, right, and control the snake who goes around and uh, tries not to crash into himself, kind of thing. And right. Yeah. For me, as you know, someone with a computer science and programming background or whatever, the command blocks are actually adding a whole new kind of fun dimension to Minecraft, even if it is a different dimension than the typical, you know, survival type of stuff that I've enjoyed in the past. And so, 
it's something new and it's something that I've been having fun toying with. And I expect a lot of people, especially those like Seth Bling, are going to have lots of great ideas for new mini games and Minecraft modes and all kinds of things that are result from the command blocks. And in general, one of the directions that I'm happy that Mo Yang has been taking the game is like turning it more into a gaming platform that everyone can develop and kind of turn and put their own whole twists on Minecraft, you know, not even without having to mod the game or anything, just kind of inside the vanilla game. You can do amazing things now. Yeah, it's almost like becoming its own game-making engine or something like that to a mm -hmm. degree, I suppose. Yeah, I definitely feel that way, and I think that's a good direction for a game that's already been out now for, you know, I guess more than three years, like for... Um, keeping it keeping it alive and giving it legs that'll you know continue to keep it popular for a long time yet. Mm. And yes, since I see people asking in the chat, I am Dr. Brian Lorgon One Eleven. You can find <laughs> me on YouTube at Lorgon One Eleven. And um, yeah, I've known. I guess Kurt and I first exchanged messages on YouTube like back around. I think it was, we both started YouTube, like, I don't know, within, uh, or started Minecraft videos on YouTube within, I don't know, a week or two of each other. Yeah, it was like I said, everybody, that, that March, 2011-ish, February, March. Yeah, my three-year anniversary was February 19th. Mm. Uh, decided a little celebration video on my channel for that. Mm. And yeah, yours was just a little bit after that. And so I think I saw, like, I don't know, episode seven of your Minecraft adventures. Right, and you asked the... Uh... Like one of the first questions that I started answering about uh, like video games, the history of video games or favorite video games, or, or video game consoles or something like that. I can't remember it now. Yeah, I don't remember what it was either. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you'd ask for questions and I had seen you play and I was like, hey, yeah, I, that sounds like fun. But yeah, I remember I didn't, you, you, I guess, was it episode 11 that you started walking to the Far Lands? I don't remember the episode numbers right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I think it was maybe 11 or 12 and you had made a hidey hole that was like right under some pumpkins. And this was back in, uh, you know, you're in a version of the game where pumpkins are rare. They don't, you can't plant them or replicate them or whatever. And so when you find a pumpkin patch, like that was an exciting thing back <laughs> in those days in Minecraft. And you had made a hidey hole right under a patch of pumpkins. And I was like, oh, you should grab, grab some pumpkins as a, you know, nostalgia for your little trip, for your little trip or something like that. <laughs> and because I didn't take it seriously or wasn't paying enough attention in terms of, you know, you walking to the far lands. And now here we are three years later. <laughs> and I still haven't picked up those pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Go back. You left them behind. <laughs> there are only 1.7 million blocks that way, or who knows? Everyone's <laughs> going to have their own guesses. This and apparently true. Anders is in the chat because I see the chat going nuts about Anders. <laughs> Andrew, Hello. <yes. laughs> His ears were ringing. We uh, Doc mentioned we we're talking to Doc about Anders. Only bad things. Only bad things. We're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is great. Um, and yeah, I see donations continue to roll in. So thanks oh, wow. everybody for donating. Yeah, I just saw it tick over to oh. one hundred seventy-four thousand. Six hundred and someone made it one eleven. Eleven cents. Wow! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> someone finished finished the homage. <laughs> I appreciate that. That was funny. Perhaps some point later, actually, it wouldn't have to be too too far away. Maybe we'll get up to one seven 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 dot seven seven for Doc. There we go. Yeah, I was just talking uh, about the episode three thirty three that Doc yes. likes to. Uh, instead of like celebrating 200,000 subscribers, he'll do 222,222. You know, that's his right, kind the of rep his unit, the, yeah. whatever it's called. Um, um, yeah, there's some German word that I can't remember or whatever for the yeah, repeated it's... digits. <laughs> um, and yeah, when it was episode 32, nah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> words, words, we're YouTube commentators. This is how it goes. Um, yeah, when it was episode 333, since I'm Lorgon 111, I was saying I was triply excited that, that was the episode that the season was going to end on. <laughs> and so I was having fun with that as well. Um, I guess I can ask you another question. Uh, this one from Jesse Marie asking, have you ever played Minecraft since they added the Amplified mode? Uh, or seen others play it, and what do you think about it? Yay or nay? 
Uh, I actually messed around with it a little bit ago. Uh, I just, you know, started a new world and did kind of the whole uh, the fast start kind of challenge sort of thing. Um, mm -hmm. I'm familiar I, with the fast start challenge. Yes. <laughs> um, it's one of those that it's I like it because I always tend to point out the crazy floating islands and cliff sides that tend tend to generate here in beta one seven three. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, except for the fact that it obviously seems forced. <laughs> it's not like an accident or, you know, a right. random... Right, it's like they just turned up some knob and yeah. Yeah. Uh, so aside from the fact that it obviously seems forced, and it does, because of that, it does seem... It's like, cool, it's like, wow, at first, but then it's that's all the world is. And right. uh, it, it does lose its charm pretty quickly. I do feel like, yeah, I, I would like it more. I've only kind of, yeah, like flown around Creative Worlds a little bit just to kind of like peek at it and also seen some of what Etho's done with his Let's Play where he has part of the world being amplified. I think it would actually be better if it was kind of like a biome kind of thing or some regions of the world kind of thing where, um, oh, and I'm just catching up to, I guess it was probably like 30 seconds ago, but... Yeah. The stream. <laughs> Someone has got a pumpkin. Someone has got a pumpkin. Hold on now. I've actually experienced a significant amount of lag all of a sudden. And... Uh-oh. Yeah. I have backups. It's been like an hour since my life's back up, but uh, I've actually frozen. Uh-oh. The it's the pumpkin. It is it's the like pumpkin. It's like gold disc. Cursed. <laughs> I've cursed you. <laughs> um... Oh, dear. Uh, oh, this dear. might not be good. Hold on, let me... Uh, yeah, you tend to the things that you need to do. Let me tab out here. Let me close some things to maybe free up. Yeah, that's weird. It just, like, started happening all of a sudden. I don't... We it, have it's... our first dramatic moment of yeah. this Slobathon. <laughs> uh, we might have to... Uh, <laughs> unless it, like, has been saving along the way. We might have to restore a backup. Not because of any death or wolfy disappearance but because <laughs> the game froze and that it might be easy. just because i it's been a long time since i've stopped and yeah i didn't notice if before uh doc m joined the chat were you doing a backup back then or yeah that, i did a backup and then okay. he joined so yeah like i said it's been about an hour so at the most factor this into your f3 guesses everybody <laughs> <laughs> well let's see maybe it's Maybe it's going to save. Maybe it'll come back. Maybe maybe all kinds of hopeful things. Yeah, let me shut down that instance of Chrome. Nope, still not coming back. Craziness. So yeah, I see, see some people in the chat saying, we're there. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> End of the road. My guess is going to be 12 million five hundred and eighty. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm, uh, I don't know what to do in this situation. Yeah, escape isn't working. Actually, the whole window I can't even select anymore. I see. Um, yeah, the only option. So I about have... starting that new series, Kurt. Yeah, about <laughs> starting that new single player series. Since <laughs> yeah, I think this might just have. To, this might be uh, like a memory leak in this version. Right. Crash yeah. end task. See what got saved. See if it's recoverable. Yeah. Uh, let me... Oh, I can't even... All right, I guess I'll have to do that from the taskbar. I can't close, like, the window. Uh, all right, hold on. I'm actually going That's to... That's actually... And, yeah, it's caused... I, I'm not sure if it just happened just this recently, but it looks like a little bit of uptick in viewership, actually. We're up to over 4,600 right now. Well, everybody come check out. His game crashed. He's over. He's going <laughs> to fail. It's bust, guys. No... <laughs> It's not bust. Uh, that was that was more of a like uh, memory computer something lag, not not like the far lands right. jitteriness. Right. Yeah, and just you know, based on when I was watching the stream after it happened or whatever, like it was extremely abrupt. It was like it was going, it was going, and then it lagged, and then it crashed. So that definitely seems like it could have been a memory leak or something. All right, I am going to have to force quit this. Hopefully you're still there. Yes. Okay. I'm still it's, here. It's that weird, uh, <laughs> oh, now I got a black screen. Uh, and yeah, the stream. And there the we go. Simple. Java has stopped working. Windows is checking for a solution. <laughs> Just because close. that always helps. Yeah. Close the program. Um. Oh, I didn't get a look at what 
Java was using as far as the memory before I closed it. But in the meantime, the viewers get some of your fantastic slideshow with lots of different fan art. Indeed, and I apologize. I know there's plenty of fan art that I missed, but that was kind of a an oak crumbs at the end of uh, last night. I'm like, I need some sort of like uh, hold screen. And that actually will transition nicely into a uh, question that came up recently during the stream from a donator. And it was someone who says, hi, Kurt. I'm watching Flapathon at the moment. I've seen it asked a few times, and I'm curious myself, what kind of fan art would you like for those of you who are, you know, wanting to do some for you? Uh, Griff Stars had asked this question. And, yeah, I don't know if you ever have, yeah, kind of done requests or you just have, like, people come up with amazing, awesome things. I just saw Tarawaz on the screen, I think, is when uh, you're trying to feed Wolfie the bone and then you end up eating it in the third panel of the comic. But True, true. Uh, yeah, um, do you have yeah. any desires? I don't have, yeah, I never, I don't think I've ever, like, specifically requested, uh... Hold on, I'm actually going... I'm going to back right. up this version of the Minecraft world and then try to reload it just in case. Uh, but uh, but yeah, it's it's always... I suppose as far as fan art is concerned, it's, it's kind of best when it's what the fan wants to make, you know? Uh, it's based on their style or whatever inspires them to make fan art. But yeah, that's one of the kind of strange... Well, not strange, but things that kind of surprised me when starting doing YouTube... Even mm -hmm. pretty early on was the fan art that started popping up. Uh, unexpected kind of thing. And it's, you know, a lot of creative stuff that I definitely would never be able to make myself. So, and and people like Six Alona uh, mm -hmm. allowing me to uh, put it on t-shirts and stuff. And uh, like uh, we're using on the, well, the screen that was up there was, uh, before I started streaming, was uh, Rosie's. Uh, right, right. Big uh, the the floating levitating island of awesomeness artwork. Was that the one that she gave you the print at Minecon? Yes, yes, yes. And um, it's right here in my office. Nice. Yep. I actually, yeah, I met Rosie at Minecon and kind of like pointed out where you were standing so that she could deliver that. <laughs> um, and that was awesome. Yeah. And so, yeah, there's a great community of artists and, yeah, people who do, you know, music. They do YouTube remixes. They do fan art. And I think also just the Mindcrack community in general and the Mindcrack subreddit have been good places for fan arts of, you know, various sorts or whatever to kind of rally around and have a place to share their creations and have lots of people enjoy them. And so, yeah, I think that's something... I don't know how unique it is to the Minecraft community, uh, you know, versus, you know, out there other places. But, yeah, it's something also that I've just been awed by in terms of all the great stuff that people come up with. And I presume you were trying to work out uh, things over there. And so I'll try to keep up, yeah, keep no, things thanks. up Sorry. for a moment while, just... while, you're, yeah, while you're doing your whatevers. Um, it's backing up still, so we're waiting for that. Right. Um, I also, speaking of, you know, obviously we're doing this for, for charity. We've got Child's Play charity going on and uh, people continuing to donate, which is just awesome. But I was going to say, I know that you have, in addition to, you know, the grand prize for people who do the F3 coordinate contest, which I believe is still going to be open for a few hours. Is that correct? Yes, it's open for four more hours. So until it's going to end an hour before I press F3. So 5 p.m. Central Time, and it's just about to tick over to 1 p.m., so four more hours to get your guests in the contest. And I know you'd said that for people who, you know, aren't interested in the grand prize or whatever, like, they can still just submit an entry, and you're going to pick some random, random people for some other little second prize kind of things. Yeah, yeah, games. And... Some... And yeah, just to like, I don't know if it was going to help encourage any more donations or encourage something to that. I just had like a little something that I could throw into the donation bucket for second prizes if people want it, which is uh, when I was at Minecon, like all the Minecon attendees this past year, you get a cape for your Minecraft character uh, that I never ended up like redeeming or using. And so I don't know if that's something that like some people might enjoy having as a prize. But if Ooh. you wanted to give that away as a random prize, I could send that your way. A for Minecon cape. That's a valuable thing. 
I it's, think. Yeah, not something that everybody has. Not something <laughs> that many people have. Um, it's the, yeah, from the third year of Mein Con or whatever. And so it's the cape that has the piston on the back, kind of a green, mm-hmm. greenish kind of look to it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to, in addition to donating to the charity, throw that into the bucket of uh, little prizes for people because we appreciate people showing up to the stream and promoting Firelands or Bust in the charity. And so just another something to help people enjoy. Absolutely. I will I will take you up on your offer and, and say, there we go. If if you want to enter, there is also now a random chance you get a Minecon cape, 2013 Minecon cape for your Minecraft right. character. Super cool. And yeah, I'll have to remember to do that after after I get out of the call. I'll send that <laughs> your way. Um, but that is great. Let me look here. We have... Oop. I'm trying to look at to see how many entries we have. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm gonna... Yeah, I, I don't envy you for having to sort through the entries after Philopathon weekend to figure well, it, all that out. Puts... I guess I guess you have like a form or whatever now. Yeah, and so... it puts it in a spreadsheet automatically, so all I have to do is sort. We have right now 2,522 entries. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so get the uh it's uh go to farlandsorbus.com scroll down a little bit there's a big button that says entry form but there's also the instructions and information about the rules and entry and stuff like that but the grand prize is to win a hundred dollar credit to shapeways.com 3d printed awesome things i suppose i could say uh, just like the Kerbal Space Program things, uh, little figures that I showed off if you stuck around after the end slate to the last Farlands Bust mm-hmm. episode. Uh, as well as Minecraft, Farlands Bust t-shirts, and now a Minecon cape from 2013 from from Brian here. Woohoo. Woo-hoo. And yeah, I enjoyed, I enjoyed that at the end of the last episode, like episode 333. Three times, 111, <laughs> um, was kind of turning out to be a long episode in terms of finishing up the hidey hole anyway. And then we got the little bit of extra bonus of real life Kurt showing off the little 3D printed Kerbal Space Program Kermans. Um, <laughs> and so that was a nice little extra bonus. And so I enjoyed that tremendously. All right. The backup has finished. I am going to... First of all, this requires a tweet. (laughs) And since you were just talking about uh, going to the Farlands or Bust page to find out where you can enter the contest while you're at the Farlands or Bust page, if you haven't donated and you're able to, you can always donate to Child's Play Charity. We're already up to $174,737.10 right now. Which is, yeah, really amazing because when I joined, I think it was actually $1,000 less when I was first listing in the call when you guys were talking to Doc. So mm. that is, that's amazing. I should really have this stuff like copied and pasted so I don't have to type every single tweet. Uh... I will be curious to see what this tweet is going to be. <laughs> I'm, going I'm refreshing to get... my own Twitter page now. Gonna get every squeeze every last uh, character out of character out of it. Yeah, that's what I do find that it is. Like I don't tweet a whole lot, like other than kind of announcing videos or whatever. Like I don't know, maybe I probably only do like seven a week or something kind of thing. But Mm -hmm. the act of having to cram things down into that number of characters and rephrase what you're saying and figure out what's the essentials is actually a somewhat interesting writing exercise. I find. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Minecraft just crashed. Backing up and going to see what happens when I open the world again. Hashtag Flopathon. <laughs> Twitch.tv slash Kurt J. Mac. This is where the excitement is at. This is where the excitement is at. And actually, let me, if you don't mind, I, I don't want to put you on the spot, but I, I, I'll just take a really quick uh, restroom break. All right. I, I'm, I'm, I'm so nervous about what's going to happen. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> that, that means you need to... You need to take a little break. That's fine. Um, <laughs> I'll be right. I'll, I'll be able to entertain the viewers for okay. a couple of minutes, hopefully. Ladies and gentlemen, the entertainment stylings of Lorgon 111. <laughs> I'll be <laughs> right back.
For anybody who doesn't know me, since I see some people asking in the chat again, I am Brian, a.k.a. Lorgon111. You can find me on YouTube and Twitter at Lorgon111. Uh, and I am Lorgon in the Twitch chat. Um, Kurt and I have been friends, I guess, for like three years now, although we got a chance to meet for the first time, finally, at MineCon, this past year's MineCon, back at the end of October, beginning of November, uh, which was super awesome because we've corresponded and done a few collaborations in the past, including being part of the KGBs, Kurt Gleason, Brian, and Schism. We did Vex's Spellbound Caves map together, and we also did some Race for the Wolves. So those are some of the collabs that we've done. And then also just a little bit earlier in the stream, Kurt was talking about in an amplified world, kind of doing a fast start just to like test out amplified kind of stuff. And fast start was one of the speed challenges that we did together. Because I like speed challenges a lot. I think Etho kind of really popularized the genre, but I've done a lot of speed challenges in Minecraft on my channel. And yeah, and here we are at Flabathon again. Um, every time Flabathon comes around, I always enjoy getting a chance to, I don't know, chip in to help promote the charity and also get a chance to talk to you all because I still don't do enough streaming. I was saying I've done some streaming again recently, but um, it's always a nice opportunity to be able to kind of interact with all the fans a bit more directly than you do just in, you know, kind of like comments after the fact and YouTube videos and whatnot. And yeah, I see someone saying, do more KGB's things. That would be good. It's hard to get all four people get back together. But Gleason, actually, Gleason had kind of gone away from YouTube and the internet for a while. I've been playing a lot of Spelunky. Um, and if you guys are fans of Jay Sano or Packrat on Minecraft, uh, I know that those guys do a lot of Spelunky. I think Milby streams a bit of Spelunky as well. Maybe there's some other Minecrackers who do it, but Spelunky is a really fun action platformer game. And uh, yeah, I've been doing that. And Gleason finally has kind of risen from the grave of YouTube and started posting some videos with Spelunky again. And so I actually did like a Spelunky duel with him. Uh, I saw Nihon Tiger in the chat a little while ago, uh, and he and I actually did a Spelunky duel on the Daily Challenge as well, where basically the two of us are each playing the same seed, the Daily Challenge, uh, in our own Spelunky worlds inside a Skype call and kind of trash-talking each other as we play along to see who can get the better score. And so that's a lot of fun if you're at all fans of Spelunky or want to check that kind of stuff out. And let's see, I might have just heard ambient sounds from Kurt's room, so perhaps he's back. Or perhaps not, and so I can keep talking. <laughs> uh, and yeah, speaking of Spelunky, like I'm, I'm getting better at the game. Jay Sano is pretty good at the game. Packrat is really good at the game. Um, and so, yeah, perhaps if you want to see someone who really knows the game and knows what they're doing, um, check out some of those Minecrackers uh, if you want to see more about Spelunky. Um, but in addition to that, I did do some streaming of Spelunky a couple of days ago, and then last night I was streaming some Rogue Legacy, which is another kind of roguelike, roguelite action platformer in a similar kind of genre to Spelunky, although a bit more of kind of like a grind where you kind of like build up your character over time. Um, but that's a fun game that I've been playing, doing a little bit of streaming, and then also have a YouTube series going on. And someone asked if I had dueled Fedrin yet, and yeah, we did actually a triul, three-person duel. It was Fedrin, Jay Sano, and I all did a Spelunky Daily Challenge together. I think that was, I don't know, a week or two ago. And yeah, that's fun. I actually just recorded another triul. I did a triul. Um, I call it a triul when basically it's a three-person duel. Um, I did one with... Winther and IX on Spelunky uh, a few weeks ago, and I actually just recorded another one yesterday that I think will air tomorrow uh, with some folks, and I guess I'll let you guys find out on the channel if you enjoy watching Spelunky and enjoy watching the duels to see who are the two people I am dueling in Spelunky in that next video. And... Just to keep things going and interact with people in the chat, I see someone asking in the chat if I've ever played The Binding of Isaac. I have not. I've seen some people play it, and so I'm kind of familiar, and it does seem like it's another one of those kind of like hard, punishing games where you need quick reactions and different kinds of things. And I haven't actually played it to try it out to get a sense of how much fun it might be for me, but it's definitely something that seems very popular and in a general genre of something that I might enjoy. And so thanks for that question. And I was just flipping back over to the 
our Lanzer bus page. And yeah, despite this fact that Kurt isn't even here right now, you're looking at a slideshow and having some second tier guy talking over the over the uh, stream. It's nevertheless the case that people are continuing to donate. So thank you so much. We're up to $174,829.10 for Child's Play Charity raised as part of this season of Flopathon. That is just amazing. <laughs> Someone asks, can I hijack the stream and get to the far lands before Kurt? <laughs> Perhaps if I use the new spectator mode in the Minecraft 1.8 snapshots, I guess there won't be any far lands to get to. I was actually playing around with that for the first time uh, just, you know, in my own single player world last night. Um, the spectator mode, for those of you guys who don't know, in the latest snapshots, they've added a spectator mode where you can fly around the world and no clip, so you can actually like fly through structures and different things. And so you can go underground and see all the caves. You can right click or no left click on a mob and all of a sudden you'll take the position of that mob. And so you can like get into a creeper's head and look from the creeper's perspective as he's walking around and it has a crazy green tint when you're looking out through the creeper's eyes. And so that'll be another kind of fun thing that they're adding to kind of like non-survival aspects of the game that'll be fun for a lot of mini games. And who knows what people like Seth Bling and I and others will try to invent with the spectator mode. But you can actually fly around really fast. You can uh, really speed up and slow down in terms of as you fly around through the world. And so it's also a nice way if you're just trying to get an overview of the world. And so... I've been having fun playing around with that. And so if that were available, that would be a quick way to get to the Far Lands. But as Kurt has said many a time, it's not about the destination. It's about the journey. It's and about so the journey. <laughs> <laughs> He's back. I am back. Sorry, you might have heard like the device unplug sound a couple times. I, sat I didn't hear it on this end, so I'm not sure that I came through on the stream. Oh, okay. Well, I, I came back and... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I got a little uh, zap from my headphones, and I heard that, and my keyboard stopped working, so I had to go back and trace a line through the spaghetti of USB cables to figure out which one it was and unplug it and plug it back in, so... I see. We're back I, up to speed. I know what you mean in terms of cables. I actually recently have gotten a bit more organized in terms of my cable setup, and so it's pretty easy for me to unplug and plug in my microphone or my... Uh, Got a webcam that I occasionally use for other things and um, keyboard and joystick and different things. Like I've got them all in kind of relatively convenient locations, and so I know how to do them. But, yeah, it can yeah, be a mess I, if you don't spend the time to organize your cables a little bit. True, yeah. I have one of those cable organizer little trays that hooks up to the underside of my desk. So the cables are off the floor, at least, but they're all a mess within that organizer. <laughs> so I've, I've halfway organized things. <laughs> All right, so let <laughs> me see. Let's launch Minecraft 173. Everyone cross your fingers. Don't update. I can't believe that you have to press that button every time you log in. Like, <laughs> yep. That's... I mean, I suppose... I, I, I would. Start... I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, that's, the, that's my thing. I could start using the new launcher and launch the old version of the game that they have, but... This is much more classic. I mean, look at this title screen. When was the last time you saw... Well, no, is this how the current... No, no, there's that big background that moves around and... Yeah, rotates. now they've got the yeah, animated title screen or yeah. whatever. And, um, this is, however, which... after they changed the logo. It used to be right. Minecraft, yeah, made out of Minecraft. Uh, <laughs> yeah, back in... I don't remember if it was like 1.5 or something when they changed the logo from the old kind of like smooth, angled Minecraft to the... Um, one that looks more like cracked bricks or whatever and has the creeper face and whatnot. All right, oh. so... All right, we passed beyond 11,000 megabytes. I'm going to set some ground rules here. If we launch... I haven't... This isn't the backup or anything. This is what I was playing when it crashed. If, for whatever reason, we, like, fall out of the world or, you know, the chunks aren't there or... or Wolfie is glitched into the side of a tree and dies or uh, or anything like that. I'm going to call a mulligan here and say that this is one of the very reasons why I back up Far Lands or Bust so often for yep. these technical issues. This is in in, in the, the scheme of a technical issue. So we're going to select it. Just hold on to your breath. I would rather not lose that hour of progress, but <laughs> regardless. Play selected world. Get back. 
We're here? Is Wolfie here? That is another issue entirely. Mm-hmm. It's like I said, I, it seems like I spawned here, but the train wasn't here. So I feel like Wolfie wouldn't be here is the problem we're running into. I see. If you want to test things out briefly, you could walk back to the to the east a short amount of time just in case his entity was saved from some previous location. But mm. yeah, I wouldn't spend too much time if it does seem like things are glitched. I feel like that might be the case. Yeah, I'm going back east. There's that pumpkin patch. Yeah, you might want to set down the pumpkin too. Just for... <laughs> well, does anybody remember which pumpkin I took? Because if that pumpkin is back, then that means these chunks are loading as if they've never been loaded before. I didn't pay enough attention. If there happen to be 20 of them there, then it's definitely back <laughs> because they only generate in patches up to 20 in this version of Minecraft, but I don't think there were that many in this patch to start with anyway, so... Yeah, yeah. it looks like there's a dozen or so, and I don't remember which one you took. Yeah. The Curse of Labathon, yes. someone says in the chat. The Curse of the Pumpkin. Now pumpkins are cursed. What have you done to us, Brian? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here's, uh, here's the previous... Uh... I suggested this to you like 320 episodes ago, <laughs> and you finally pick up the pumpkin now. I don't know that I'm the one to blame. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, it dear. looks like we're going to have to load the backup. Indeed. Yeah, I think what, what we can technically say happened is it started to lag and then froze out, and it didn't save whatever well i suppose it saved that chunk because there's yeah because the, the bed is there the bed is there um but yeah i don't know how the world save works in terms of like you know wolfie's entity would be updating every second or something as opposed right. to the bed that got placed and probably saved the moment you walked away from those chunks and right, so... right right all right mulligan call Mulligan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well hope you guys figured this into your uh, estimations be gone with you Cursed pumpkin. You are not wanted. In fact... <laughs> I'll set you ablaze. Uh, yeah, <laughs> alright. So, it appears the glitch is that Wolfie isn't here. I would also not want to, like, continue and, like, say the chunks in between here and previously aren't there. So, like, the overworld map right, has, like, a big... To, I was just thinking that the missing overworld chunk. map is screwed up now at this point, too. Yeah. All right. Well, this is what happens in Far Lands of Bus when you when you push the boundaries. We are literally pushing the boundaries of Minecraft. So what I'm going to do is quit to the title. Go back to our what now you've probably seen the 25 or so uh fan arts I've added to that rotating image folder. <laughs> and I'm going to restore from the previous backup. Which All right. is where? <laughs> no, it's right here. I know where it is. I know where it is. Okay, I'll let you work that out. Yeah, it was. Um, you know, there's at least one person out there who was so carefully planning and calculating and trying to guess with their <laughs> F3 coordinates or whatever and using all the math and all the sizes of the world files, and now they're like, don't! Because <laughs> <laughs> they've been thrown off. Yeah, it looks like the last backup was... Uh, if I can look at it. Yeah, it was before hour, Doc. Hour, yeah, 11.45 about. Yeah. Of course, for the past 20 minutes, I haven't been walking anyway. So yeah, we lose about an hour of time. 